tarde. Hoy. Fight off your podcast, podcast or whatever. We're here. We're yeah, here. Nailed it. Yeah. <laughs> First try. First try. Dear Seb, this is the official invitation to join our debrief. 1600 hours at CPANG. See you there. Don't forget your notebook. Exclamation point. Notebook. Smiley face. Oh. Look at that picture on the right side there, too. Jesus. Oh, he's, he's posing hard there. He's probably doing the same expression on the left picture as well, but you can't see because it's kind of... Uh, is this a weird uh, observation, but I feel like he kind of looks like a hobbit in this picture. <laughs> like, if he had a hobbit body, I wouldn't be surprised. Uh. <laughs> just a little bit. Just a little, little bit. A hobby, hobby, hobbit hobbit. model. Maybe just the picture. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, this is the podcast. Yes. It's We're us. Back. Flatoutfever.com. Um, check us out. Check uh, it out. Subscribe on iTunes if you need some MP3s. Because we got them now. Yeah, we got them. Now. We got them. They're on the website. They're, they're on the, on the website. website. Yeah, you can you can just download it. You don't need iTunes to download MP3s, as far as I'm, as far as I know. No, that's how I listen to most podcasts. Actually. Oh yeah, yeah. And also yeah. listen Mostly to I hate but, you, but you still can. Oh yeah, you still you can do download them yeah. without iTunes. Anyway, yeah, as you said, listen to bamboo. Oh yeah. Dot com. Yeah, yeah. Check out more of that yeah. baseline. Yes. Yeah. Mike's back. Awesome. Well, what else? Uh, we're we're on, on on Twitter and stuff and Facebook and everything else. Just look us up. Flat oh, Fever. F O F. Yeah. Contact. Anyway, let's do a quick fantasy F one recap. Oh it yeah, was the first I'm really weekend. excited. This was Australia. <laughs> <laughs> I'm even more excited. Uh, uh, yeah. Well, well, not excited as I am. I had a terrible, terrible <laughs> weekend. <laughs> BadgerGP.com. Flat Out Fever podcast league. Number one right here. Number one. Yeah. Congratulations. 151 points. Yeah, that's pretty good, actually. I get it's all of them mostly confused. just guessing. So many. So is this you get so many points? I have, well, like Badger GP. Yeah, you're fourth place. Yeah, the Roscoe Rockets. Yeah, there you go. Mm. The <laughs> I chose all these like blindly, too. Like I was like, oh, sure, why not? Whatever. <laughs> Bernie's wrinkly bums I, down I, there somewhere. Yeah, <laughs> I, apparently random pick is better than my calculated picks. Because <laughs> I'm, I'm dead last pretty much in all of them. UDT. <laughs> UDT.co.za yeah. league. Flat Out Fever podcast. Brooklyn, Brooklyn F1's in first place right now. Good for him. Mike's, or her. Mike's in third right behind me. Ah, ah, ah. I'm dead last. Chase again. Down there the bottom again. <laughs> and fantasy-f1-league.com. Uh, I'm winning. And Mike's in second and Jay's in last. But anyone, anyone who's interested in checking out a fantasy F1 league and it seems too complicated, you should check out fantasy-f1-league.com. Very straightforward. Yeah. Also fun. Just as fun, but not as much uh, intricate clicking yeah, the, and predicting. And, there's no mm, predictions involved and stuff like that. Pick your team and, uh, and yeah, you pick your favorite drivers and win points. We got we had all the links also in the in the reach us section of our website. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. if you want to just like if you don't if you want to bother if you don't want to bother writing this stuff down and uh, you want to check it out again, just uh, go on floodoffever.com. And uh, click the reach us page. You'll find the link. Anyways, right. it's a long season. You got tons of time to still join any of or those change three your players, leagues. Change your players. Change your players. players. <laughs> I got I got demolished though. Cause, but what I guess, happened? I guess, what what happened? I guess I guess what? <laughs> like I, I, I was just, like, oh well, no, I got, I got you guys busy. got this. Well, I got I got busy, right? Yeah. And uh, and I, I didn't have time to change my game around okay. before the race started. And then I just I kept putting it off, putting it off, putting it off. Yeah. And then eventually <laughs> the race day, race day was there or qualifying was there, and uh, it was too late. Was too so late. yes, that is a lesson that has been learned, and it's a, it's a long year. So I will come back. <laughs> yeah, back. it's a long season for anyone that hasn't started at all to get in there, get your picks done. It's you a lot of fun. It's, it's uh, a, lot, a lot more fun than I thought it was going to be. I've never done any fantasy leagues ever. Oh, yeah. I, for, I forgot I did it. And then after the race, we watched the race today. I was like, 
oh yeah, yeah. like I, I did things <laughs> and it turns out I'm in I'm doing all right you're doing all right doing, you're actually okay. doing all right yeah <laughs> especially with that uh, disaster of an Australian Grand Prix oh my god oh my that god. was crazy most people's picks probably got destroyed yeah so you're you're in competition everyone <laughs> still, you still get to go what a what a crazy race, Mike! It was. Okay, crazy. We we have to we have to now say that um, if this is the first time that you've watched an F one race. This is very true. Yeah, yeah. you popped uh, it. Your first one. Yeah, it was How weird. Was it was exciting. It was confusing, but I loved it. Nice. <laughs> so uh, yeah, it was great. I had a lot of fun. Yeah. And, uh, thanks cool. for. for I can just like ask a question. You're like, oh no, no this is like this. You should uh, know this is how yeah. it is. <laughs> you guys, uh, let me know what was going on, which was cool. <laughs> yeah, that's what it's about. And uh, there was a, a lot to to go on. So in in many ways, uh, this year's Australian Grand Prix was a good week to get into F1 because there was a lot yeah. of time to, to to discuss whatever questions you may have had. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the amount of starters and especially the amount of finishers. Yeah, Jesus, crazy. Started with uh, 15, 16 cars, finished with eleven cars. Oh my god, yeah. eleven cars. cars. That's crazy. Uh, That's crazy. Thirteen, thirteen cars. Oh wait, no, you're right. Fifteen yeah. cars started. Yeah, 15. only eleven finished. Yeah, it's insane. Jeez. There were supposed to be sixteen starting. Yeah, but check, uh, check this out. Yeah, Ke Kevin Magnussen's car caught on fire on the installation chat. If you if you go all the way down to to, to um, engine destroyed yeah to this over here so we had three did not start and that's probably that that's the most yeah, we might as well start at the bottom yeah, of this list that's, <laughs> a, that's the most do not did not start or did not finish that that i saw in a while or kevin you know. kevin like kevin magnuson was supposed to be starting at the back anyways but his engine blew up on the installation lap Jesus. just go he's going to his parking spot and this list actually is missing uh one more spot for the dns which should be Valtteri Bottas. Valtteri Bottas is yeah. missing. But he, yeah, he, I guess he, he, he did qualify, but we knew from before the beginning of the race that he wasn't going to start because of his injury in the back and like just by running off the road and then going back up on yeah. a bump. Last corner on Q3, he uh, came around, went off track, and spent the night in the hospital. Serious injury. Yeah. Jesus Murphy. The FIA doctor said he was not, not fit to compete I'm for the weekend. Fit to compete. Yeah. Kevin Magnussen, his engine blew up on the installation lab, and then Daniel, Danny Kivia, his his car lost uh, some uh, hydraulics or something on the installation yeah. lab, which is is very weird. Yeah, it's, I don't know. Yeah, not I don't. There wasn't much said about about his car. I don't know. No, they didn't. <laughs> obviously, Red Bull was not going to release many details about it, but yeah. they did say that it was some sort of hydraul hydraulics problem. Um, it had nothing to do with the engine, but who knows with these engines. Mm -hmm. um, so they were out from the get-go. So they didn't even start. And then... Moving up to Lotus. Yeah. Throughout the race, four people retired. Yeah, which is also crazy. Yeah. Well, it's not... Four retirements isn't that crazy, but like the two do not start, did not start at the beginning is crazy. Four isn't crazy, but there's to only finish with 11 cars, you know, when there's, there's supposed to be, you know, like 20. Um, and, and that's the thing, man. I mean, there's, there, there isn't enough teams as it is with the, with the departure of uh, Caterham and obviously uh, Manor isn't doing anything and they, they knew that they weren't going to be racing there. So th there isn't enough teams already. Um, and now that compounded with the fact that McLaren is having a, a engine, huge engine problems because their their new engine is completely new to F1, and now they have to be like the, the stakes this year are way higher than last year because uh, last year they were allowed to use five engines or, right. five, or five components of whatever of the power units. Now they're only allowed four, so it's there's just not much more strain than needs to happen. They just so and and on top of that, now the 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 uh, the two uh, the Renault teams. Or the Renault engine hasn't made that much of an improvement. It, it, all these factors. A lot of people are, would say they made a step back. Exactly, especially and, relatively to everybody else. So I'm, I'm wondering if this is gonna be like a thing that's gonna happen later on. Even I mean, you can, it, there's not enough teams as it is, and the, the teams that are there, a few of them are having these like this kind of problems. It's not looking good so far. And also, uh, Romain Grosjean retired on the first lap. 
They didn't really come out and say what it just, happened to him either. He never had a. He never like it. It looked like he was down on power all the way. Even when you when they yeah. showed the um uh, the as soon as the lights the went helicopter out, view, yeah. As soon as the lights went out, he dropped back all the way. Uh, and then uh, <laughs> the Maldozer crashed the NATO. <laughs> He, he, he was crashed into. Somebody crashed yeah, into him. That was not his fault, yeah. but he did another crash. Yeah. Another. He <laughs> yeah. ended up in the wall backwards. Straight retirement, first lap. Safety car came out. Luckily, only one, because yeah. I predicted that on badgergp.com. <laughs> 10 did, fantasy I, points I think for I did that. Three. Yeah? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> there was like options to go up to like 10 or 15. I was like, no. Nah. <laughs> Damn it. Lost that one. Jensen Button finished the race, but he managed to finish the race, and he looked like I mean, he might have even finished it in the points, but he did yeah, it. it. So close, so in close to getting one McLaren. point. McLaren, Honda, to be all the only the only reason why he's they not finished. more they humiliated. Did it, they did the distance. No, but listen, it, it, the only reason why he's not more humiliated and he didn't finish all the way at the bottom, the two the two McLarens, is because some t- some cars just plain didn't finish the race at all. Mm. Otherwise, like he would be way down there. Like if the two, if the two uh, Lotuses with the with uh, with the Mercedes engines had finished the race, I'm pretty sure they would have uh, been faster than Jensen. Uh, so would have been the, uh, the Raikkonen's Ferrari, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. <laughs> Bottas, if he had taken place in the race, he would have been up there too. So yeah. you, the, the 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 real position, or maybe they would have caused more accidents, or maybe. But <laughs> I'd say that the real position of this of this McLaren right now, you're looking at all the way down at fifty around fifteen or something. Yeah. Realistically, yeah, that's exactly yeah. where he, where yeah. they both belong. Yeah, yeah. Alonso, I don't know. Alonso's coming back. He's not gonna be happy. He's down one engine for the season. Oh my god, he must before have been, the first race even started. He must have been watching because uh, Alonso. So people said, you know, maybe he, maybe he is actually doing a, a good thing by moving out of Ferrari and going to to McLaren. Um, but the Ferrari right now, like at least Vettel, was able to put it all the way up there in third. Yeah, <laughs> not some Ferrari didn't even get that like that far. Maybe they they did one time last year. Either way, um, hey, Raikkonen would have been up there too, but yeah. he had big both pits. Somehow his back left tire wheel hub got yeah got broken or something on his first pit stop he was 8.7 seconds pit stop they couldn't get the tire back on they couldn't get the nut back on second stop they couldn't get uh same thing they tried getting it off well they, 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 they then, just let him go with uh with the, with the tire loose and that's what right, cost them right, right. The, the rest of the race and a penalty yeah, so, the next race. so he stopped on that lap which meant he did not actually fulfill his penalty which would have been a drive through and a 10 second stop and go yeah so now he has to start and like, uh, uh, like well what do they give him 10 10 places i yeah i would have to look it up man but i don't know for sure i don't think it's 10 places for 10 seconds but uh, but it is a drive through so I don't know. he's gonna get he's gonna get a place penalty they were actually debating it i remember on the post show yeah before sky was over i don't think they got an answer he's gonna get some sort of penalty bump back uh we should know this but <laughs> sorry, I'm I'm sorry. <laughs> he's he's gonna get a bumped back though for sure. But he won't get any sort of I don't think extra. He obviously didn't know. They gave him the green light, raised his lollipop and let him drive off. And he stopped soon as they told him, "Hey, there's a problem." He made it three corners and stopped the car. Yeah, that, and that it's, that's as far as he got. Yeah, Philippe. Uh, okay, let's scroll down a bit. Where are we we're on number ten now. Sergio Perez. He spun out twice in the same corner on that race maybe almost maybe three times at least twice <laughs> yeah yeah jensen button by the way 11th place but lapped two times the only guy Th- that's how far off the pace they are but that's what i'm saying but the reason as far off the pace as everybody is you go all the way up to number six ricciardo was also lapped yeah everybody six and below was lapped that's just which is kind of crazy that's just how crazy is that silliness well, it, 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 it's it's too much. Um, I mean, the, yeah, yeah, there were only 10 cars, and yeah, um, a few of them were doing, like, catastrophically bad with the Renault engines. But the Mercedes is, it, it, it just has a, such an, the Mercedes, Mercedes has such an incredible advantage that that's why yeah. right now, like, the, the, one of the biggest stories to come out of the weekend was how they're just trying to rein them in. Hmm. Yeah, well, look, even even Felipe Nazar, fifth, we go to fifth place, ninety five seconds. 
<laughs> it's crazy. A minute and a half back. It's, it's insane. And uh, right on, I think right at the very end, Lewis Hamilton was right on his ass. I think Lewis Hamilton was closer to the back of Felipe Nasser than yes. Nico Rosberg, Rosberg was to the back of Lewis Hamilton as the three of them came around the last corner. Yeah. So Hamilton almost lapped up to fourth place, <laughs> which is insane. It's insane. And a, a lot of a lot of speculation that Mercedes was sandbagging quite a bit this weekend already. Oh, they're saying they're saying that next weekend they're going to be even more. They just got out front, turned it down, and they weren't even raced. The two of them weren't racing each other. They weren't. They could have, but they weren't. Yeah, Malaysia. If this is any indication, and if they turn it up, they're gonna they're gonna lap everybody at Malaysia. That's why I hope. That's why I hope that it rains in Malaysia. Yeah. Well. Yeah. We were just watching some pole laps. The last two years, it's it's rained at qualifying. Yeah. So we'll see. It's it's a wet place. A bit tropical there. So it's, it, it, uh, it's it's not it's not unusual that it rains in Malaysia, and that's why I, it, things in the rain could I mean, it, the rain could change things a bit. It could give. Uh, um, they, they always say that when when the drivers are you know driving in the rain because they have to drive slower, that they have different tires, mm-hmm. um, and you know the weight of the rain and everything else, and the way that it affects with the with the aerodynamics. I think we just the uh, last uh, Lewis lap that we watched on the full wets was a minute forty nine. Two years before that, or a year before that, on the intermediates, was uh, like the high one twenties. Mm. Yeah. So we, the, there's, there's a, I don't know. they're all going get, slower. Like, monsoon level rain. But some, like some people say that you know, it, then at that point it depends. It depends a lot on the driver's skill, mm-hmm. not so much necessarily on the car. But uh, if if a driver wants to be daring and like. So yeah, I got this. Don't worry. I'm in fucking time in the rain. <laughs> then they can like, like last year that long lap. He got 149 or like 20 seconds slower than normal. Oh, that was Jesus. pole lap, and he he said he's like, man, I can't see anything. My goggles are all fogged up. It's raining too much. It's yeah, humid yeah. as shit. It's hot there. Ugh. It's like 30 degrees and <laughs> pouring rain. That's fucking crazy. But anyways, for a lot more detail than this, check out our Australia GP 2015 ride along. I'm going to try to keep doing these throughout the season. A little bit of live commentary. So what it is. We'll watch along. What it is is because Bernie <laughs> doesn't want us to show any uh, F1 footage on YouTube, uh, I guess we'll we'll play along with that. And what we've done is while we're watching the race going on, and we can watch it and we can hear it, um, the commentary. While we're doing that, we're going to be commenting on it uh, here and there, just uh, pointing some things out uh, while the race is going on, and we're going to compile it in a short video. And that's how that uh, Mike, you're going to add that at the very end. Yes. The highlights. This podcast. Yeah. Yeah. And the lowlights. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Both. So yeah, just if you if you want to check that out, scroll all the way to the end of this video, whenever that may be. Yeah, that's a race breakdown, I guess. Hamilton kicked everybody's ass. I don't think Rosberg was actually racing them, but Mercedes generally basically kicked everybody's ass. Bottas, I believe, would have been right up there, but uh, now, he hurt his, hurt his back. Look at this, though. And Vettel, though, back on top, man. That's a, I think that's the biggest story. Vettel, though, but, but, but it, is, is he really? And, and here's the thing, though. and Ferrari. Vettel what, here. What's the thing, Jay? <laughs> what is it? What's it? This the this difference here in between first and third yeah. is thirty four and a half seconds. No, four and a half. Thirty four. For between oh, first sorry, and third. Sec- second and third. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. No, no. Okay. Between between first and third. Sorry. Yes. Yes. I'm sorry. Yeah. Right. Yes. Yes. This seems nutty. <laughs> yeah. Right. This the that was the diff that was very very. Uh, close to being the, the same amount, the, the same difference that um, Alonso had with Lewis, or well, yeah, with Lewis last year. Was it? Yeah, and and, and mm. yeah. So okay, okay. it's not like it. It's even even when this is a great effort by the Ferraris, the Mercedes is still so much further away than anybody else. Yeah, that that's just the difference in pace. It's just ridiculous. It's, it, it, as this, as much um, as much strides as Ferrari have come, uh, have made to like overcome everybody else, or at least until in, in this race, they're still not even. They're not. They're no closer than they were last year to Mercedes. We watched. Uh, <laughs> I, know, I'm, I, I was proud of the broadcasters for basically ignoring both Lewis Hamilton and Nico Rosberg 
the entire race. Yeah. I, I'm glad. They're basically not competing. They're competing. They're out-competing everyone. But it's basically another race. They concentrated on everybody else. It was pretty yeah, great. good for them. Yeah, it was, it was good. That's basically going to be the season. That's almost not even a story. It's just basically a given that they're going to be up there. Unless something Beta, crazy happened. Like, as yeah, far if, as, if as one far of as them I'm crashes concerned. or if they both crash into each other, then, yeah, that race is probably going to be ridiculous. Yeah, there's a chance of them having some sort of mechanical failure. You can get a flat tire. You can yeah. hit the wall or whatever. They can hit each other, fighting mm -hmm. it out or whatever. But I'm, as far as I'm, I'm concerned, uh, Sebastian Vettel won first place. <laughs> Massa's in you second. Would. Felipe Massa's in second and Felipe Nazar, the fucking rookie's in third place. He, he, <laughs> that's the, the other guys don't count. Look at that. It's incredible. Yeah. <laughs> like they, they won. It's, they've, obviously, Mercedes have done an incredible engineering job. Are these uh, As far points? as ent M entertainment? Yeah, they, yeah. Those are the points yeah. that they got. They each got. So you get a nice Shit. bonus for coming in first place. Yeah, totally. You get a seven point bump and then you get a little bonus for coming in uh, second and third place and below that not so much one point down to 10th you get one point yeah Perez but yeah. everyone in the top 10 yeah. check this out the uh, what, what I saw that really really was kind of uplifting though this race is um, the 5th and 8th place those are now the Saubers of Felipe Nasser and Marcus Ericsson with a great performance by an embattled Sauber team that came out fr from last year as, as one of their worst, well, the worst year of their history. They came out of Friday as one of the worst days of their history. Yeah. When Isha Carlton yeah. born was inches from to a go jail, to jail cell. <laughs> yeah. they, were, <laughs> they were ringing the key ring. And now, wait, how, like how many points did they get? 14 points? Jingling them keys. 14 yeah. points. Yeah. And this is what, I, okay, we were, we were talking about this when we were watching the race. And the thing is that this whole thing now 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 it came the the, the news is now that um they agreed to settle with Vandergaard uh with Hido van der Garde. Yeah, so uh, they're, they're free to move forward now with but 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 this is what i'm saying like if yeah. if if monisha yeah. and company knew like if if they just if they knew that the Ferrari engine was going to be competitive enough if some, somehow Ferrari went and, and showed them something, so gave, gave them some assurance, right? right, And they knew they were going to be scoring some points this year. Like we said, they, they uh, probably by a little bit by accident, they showed it in Jerez. Oh, they did. About six weeks ago. But, yeah. But yeah, before the, you're right, before the testing. Yeah, before the testing, if they knew, then, right. then, then Monisha could have just done all of this Knowing that she could, that that she might have gotten in trouble, knowing that maybe losses were coming, but if she knew that she was going to be making more money, net out of it all, just because of uh, of, of having a competitive engine, then it would have all been worth it. And if it, it kept Sauber alive, and now they pay, they can easily pay the fifteen million euros that they need to pay to Van der Gard, and because they know that this this is not made up, this is a real performance here. Yeah, that's. Third place. Yeah, they well, they like yeah. <laughs> this essentially third place. Essentially yeah. third place. Uh, and and the the points are gonna be coming to them this year. I'm glad about that. And you know I'm glad that there's still a team. Did they did they handle it as good as they could have? No. I mean they, it, this whole scandal should have never made it to an F1 weekend. It should have been kept. It should have been resolved in an office in Switzerland a long time ago. Yeah. But I think Sauber is lucky to have a sponsor like Banco do Brasil. I think the uh, Bank presidents are rubbing their hands together at that fifth place, and even even Ericsson did well, but he uh, he he had to he pulled into the pits at the uh, first safety car, and that kind of yeah messed up his race. He didn't really really get to see what he can do. I no, we'll that's it. that's true. But uh, I'm sure, yeah, whatever. Vendergaard got 15 million euro to fuck off, I guess, according to <laughs> to uh, Sauber. Yeah. And uh, from what I heard, that um, my, my, uh, Roberto Mary. Right? Yeah, Mary. That his contract with Manor was really only for one race, for one weekend. So I don't know. You, we might see Van der Gaard sitting in a Manor with those. In, yeah, in just Malaysia. take take the fifty million 15, euro check and just like lighter, just cross it and sign it over to Marusha. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I don't know. It's um, it's uh, I guess there's not really been news who this money goes to because. Part of the eight million Vanegard was really originally suing for came from his sponsors, right? So maybe he has to pay that back, but 
That's, oh, that's I'm sure they, they, would, they would probably keep backing him because he's been in the news now. A lot of people know who he is just from fighting Sauber in court and, yeah. win, and winning. Yeah. Yeah, so I don't know. But uh, Manor, I don't know. It looks like Bernie's pretty pissed at them. <laughs> what do you say that? Because uh, they, they, they showed up there fully knowing that they weren't going to race. Yeah, I'll find you this quote really quick here. But Ber- Bernie Bernie's pissed off. Uh, Bernie said, we should never, ever have ever two evers allowed Manor to <laughs> do what they've done. It's our fault, and I predicted this would happen. They had no intention of racing in Australia. Zero. They couldn't have raced even if they had somehow gone through with a machine. If someone had gone there with a machine gun and put it to their heads, it was impossible. So they had no intention. And uh, according to the FIA, Manor has been legally seen as competing. Because they, they showed they, up with two drivers they and they showed up with, uh, you know, a bare, like, you know, a, a bare minimum like yeah, they crew. Had, they had the bare minimum staff. They painted their pit box and put up their posters in the, in the, in their paddock. But basically, they complained about having, but to make a ridiculously huge story short, their main point was that they complained that they had, 2015 engine software, and they're being allowed to run on 2014 engines, and saying they're not compatible and they couldn't have made it. But that's my also whatever. Yes. Yeah. Mm. Bernie, Bernie said that's not what it was, and Bernie's pissed because. He gave them ten million dollars. I don't think he gave them ten million dollars because he's fining them for not competing. But he gave them Force India and Sauber a ten million dollar advance on their prize money from last year. Mm-hmm. But he's the way he's fining them is he's handing over the bill. I guess he had agreed to pay their freight to and from Australia for their whole team, and he's fining them the bill for the freight. Oh jeez, they're going to be paying for that. But yeah. I don't know. He's passed. I, I I believe him though. Like the the dude they hired to talk to the cameras. He I, for, I can't remember his name right now. Uh, Who? Fitzpatrick, I think. Stephen. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Stephen. Oh no, it's not him. That's the owner of Manor. Anyway, the the dude that they hired, the team principal, he see. You know, he seemed really genuine. That you know, we're here to race. But I think he's just a really good actor. <laughs> if, you, if you've seen that team principals conference, you know what I mean. He just seemed really genuine, like he was emotional about it. But you know, I guess you don't bullshit Bernie, <laughs> which is uh, uh, I don't know. That's that's what they say. You, you know, don't you, you don't, don't bullshit, bullshit Bernie. Yeah, I, I don't know. He he was he. It this guy? No, it's, oh, okay. it's the uh, I think he's the team principal. He's, oh, young, okay. he's a younger guy for men. Mm-hmm. It doesn't matter, but. I don't know. Manor, I, I hope they're racing. I, ho- I, I hope but they get this see, Did you event. see what their car looked the like? Their car looked like nothing. It, it looked is, plain. It looked yeah. Like, yeah, they had basically no sponsors painted on it. It was just white and orange. Ugh. Yeah. I don't know. They're, I don't know. Falling apart? Yeah, it's hard. I don't know. It's really hard to say because I want to believe that they're there to race. I want to see more cars on the track. Or, yeah. Hopefully they can compete, you know. But if they if they're just gonna stay you got there, two young guys that can get some experience. If they're just gonna be keep like uh, show up to the, these grand prix just to stand there and not do anything, then then don't do it. Mm-hmm. Like why why are you doing that? Yeah, and um, what is it about Helmet Marco? What did he, what did he say? Oh, <laughs> well, Helmut Marko, he's, 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 he's high up there within the Red Bull organization. Yeah, Red Bull is pissed after yeah. this opening weekend. Yeah. And, and he is, I think rightfully he's so. really close to, um, to Dietrich Matschitz, uh, the owner of Red Bull. Um, and, and he's basically saying that Red Bull could just quit F1 if they if mercedes keeps dominating this way now on, <laughs> on paper they've red bull has committed to the sport until 2020 on paper yeah but they could just not <laughs> exactly yeah and actually bernie acknowledged that he, i think he did a fairly big interview with the reuters on sunday or monday he admitted yeah obviously they can just leave whenever they want yeah but in a way he called out dietrich medishitz about quitting because it's because it's ridiculous. Red Bull when they were yeah when they were winning, right? Uh, and and they had a huge advantage, and because they did, like they would just pull out like at the beginning of the race, like build like a twenty second advantage, and just 
like, within a few laps, uh, Vettel would have yeah. like 20 seconds ahead of everybody. When they were in the lead and winning everything, they didn't seem to mind that somebody would, like had a, uh, had an unfair advantage. Yeah. The point, though, I mean, I, th- I think that the, what what they're trying to say um, is that yeah, you know, the aero advantage or whatever, like or the, the, that Red Bull had in those days, um, that was that was a, a gap that was easier to uh, to breach. Uh, but this engine thing, we might be yeah, stuck. Yeah, easier to breach in this engine, right? Yeah, yeah, because this engine advantage might like Mercedes may have a an engine advantage that will last them for. Many years, yeah. For even it, even it's, it's, it's like this whole formula, yeah. As long as it lasts, but so I, uh, as far back as Friday, Christian Horner su- had suggested that maybe F one should abandon all wind tunnel testing, which the other, the other teams didn't seem to want to talk about at all. Which I don't know, maybe not that. But what he said after the race, what and. I agree, even though I don't have any reason to cheer for a Red Bull anymore. Vettel's gone. But <laughs> he, during their domination, when they had the exhaust blown diffusers, they had like a time, there was a one race during the season where they took away the exhaust blown diffuser. They did all kinds of rule changes mid season, like big ones, to rein Red Bull in, to slow them down and give everyone a little bit of a chance to catch up to them. And I don't know. That's what basically Red Bull's calling for Mercedes to be reined in the same way. But uh, Total Wolf, pretty commanding lead they seem to have yeah. in this last showing. Total Wolf and Mister Rush, they're not having it. Total Wolf said uh, he thinks that Red Bull should put down their fucking heads. This is a quote: "Put down their fucking heads and work harder." <laughs> they should put down their fucking heads and work harder. He said, Mercedes has been. Working harder. That's yeah, that's, that, 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 <laughs> that's they. They are doing. up there where they are because they 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 clearly like they they they, they worked on and the engineering of in their engine is is that, that much better. Mm-hmm. But they, yeah. that just didn't fall out from the sky. You yeah. know, they they actually put in the time and and then they did their research and came yeah, up with a better engine. It's that's a it. physical machine that works better. So yeah, they, all they have to do is build their own. But <laughs> it seems like a big mountain. I don't know. Yeah. The other team, I mean, and, and some are saying that like because teams like Ferrari or whatever now are are locked in a certain way with with what they started uh, and can't change like the complete like they can't change the complete philosophy of their engine. Mm-hmm. Uh, they can they can improve some parts and and with the token system and whatnot, um, they'll eventually be able to improve some of it. Uh, but not everything, and not 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 everything from the ground up. So if you started with a certain a few fundamental problems or fundamental disadvantages, those are going to be really hard to get rid of over time. It's, and it's not like changing a front wing or changing like, or, you know, or adding some S ducts or whatever here and there to, yeah. to, to the car. Cause that's it. They're just basically, they're, they're higher mountains to climb, um, you know, recovering from these engines. And that's why the people are saying that, well, maybe another, like the only real approach that you can like ever hope to really bring the fight to Mercedes would be by starting anew, and that's it. but that, but but then that's a chance that Honda had coming fresh to the sport this year, right. uh, and and look at what they've done. So I mean, <laughs> not even that seems to be working. Yeah, it's I definitely gonna be interesting to see like how they're how they're gonna try to even rein them in. Because what could you do? What could you like, what 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 cuz to rein them in uh, to terrain red bull when they were when they were having when they were being dominant they said something that was that had to be done across the board right like so no more blown diffusers period boom no for right. nobody for nobody right what what right. can they even say that affects cuz anything that they say that goes across the board is just going to cross is just going to affect the entire um the entire grid the same way you know, if they say, okay, yeah. no more no more turbos, no more turbos. Nobody has tur- turbos anymore. There's been <laughs> talks the other way, too, giving the other teams free reign for a certain time period to do whatever they want. But then that's unfair. Yeah, and then it goes against this whole thing. They're constantly talking about saving money. Yeah. <laughs> so, I don't know. And I think, I think Red Bull has extra trouble. And maybe they're... I saw um, the, the president or the lead guy from... Renault saying, you know, we've been in F- Formula One for a long time. We know how to make these engines. But I really think that the strategy that was 
predicted and kind of what they hinted at before the season that they were going to save their points all the way till the end. Mm. They, they didn't use 12 of their tokens, their 32 tokens this year. You save right. them all the way till the end of the year and get a double bang effect. Blast them off right at that last race and then fresh for next season, they get another 25 points when everybody yeah. else will have used theirs. And in the meantime, they can do whatever research they want without building anything. Oh, they can. But, and and yeah. the Red Bull, I mean, sorry, Renault in the same article admitted that Yes, they are looking at buying, buying a team, a team. Um, making a works team. Seeing most likely to be Toro Rosso. It's already running Renault engine, yeah, et cetera, it's, et cetera. It's, Dietrich, it's closer to them. And D- Dieter Matichitz or whatever has talked about leaving F1. If he drops one of his teams, maybe he'll be happy. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Uh, I want to quickly, before we, whatever, let's go back. Let's go to this Verstappen thing here. Cause it, <laughs> Max Max's engine blew up and uh, Verstappen's oh dad here, Mister y- Jos Verstappen, Jos the boss. He's talking a bunch of whole, a bunch of shit about Renault. You can see him like, on, today too. on the on the race broadcast. Like yeah. as, as soon as as soon as his son like well they went off, to him. They, yeah, they cut straight through him, and he just like he, you can see that he wanted to slam his headphones and just walked out. Yeah, he just walked walked around the wall, went to hide. Yeah, it, this article we don't have to read it, but obviously this article here talks about um, Max's dad kind of being a dick. This is the dude who's seventeen. We just got yeah. in here. His dad kind of being a dick back when he was go kart racing. Um, excuse me. Apparently, Max uh, crashed one time, and his father refused to speak to him for an entire week. Oh, God. <laughs> and then openly admitted that it was ridiculous. to make him learn that you know it should hurt if you crash. Nice dad. Yeah. Yeah. Jesus. Yeah. I don't know. It's kind of crazy. He he is known for being a bit of a dick. And when he he, he was in F1 um, years back. Um, and, and when he was in F1, he was known for, for having that, for having a bit of a short temper and being a bit of a, a bit of a prick. So I guess uh, I, that's that's just uh that's just what he the, the kind of guy he is. And I'm glad that his son doesn't seem to be that way. Yeah. See, um, see, just this weekend, I was reading a little bit. I think the the last thing we got to say here. Yeah, because uh, I know you got to go. Just this week, I was reading a little bit about F one history, whatever. Just I was looking at the Magni Cour track in France. I was thinking, hey, it's kind of weird. Uh, Renault is the only team that doesn't have uh, a race in their own country, mm. the home a home Grand Prix. It was run until two thousand eight. Then there was different France Grand Prix before that. And uh, now today, uh, there's been a bit of a debate whether or not there's going to be a German Grand Prix this year. Uh-oh. Oh, my God. It's going back and forth between it's it's looking Hocken- like Hockenheim no. and Nürburgring. Yeah, it seems like a, almost a definite no. I think like the story is too new that we don't have a lot of detail. So ne- maybe we can talk about it more next week. But it has been, I think, announced for sure. The CEO of, I believe, the FIA in Germany, something like that. He, his name is George Seiler. He said we're not expecting to host the race this year because there's n- not enough time to sell tickets. But it's true, man. I mean, it, re- yeah. re- remember last year? Okay, it so is. last year we bought our tickets be- like two months before this season even started for Montreal. But yeah, but even I, I remember that last year, like yeah, after Montreal, like or the weekend after the the Canadian Grand Prix, and we, we were so we were there, um, and the weekend right the weekend right after the Canadian Grand Prix, I got an email from. The organizers from the people that I bought the the ticket that that year, yeah. basically like saying like you know promoting the next year's event right away and like buy tickets for the next one weekly. Like, yeah, do you want yeah, tickets? Right. Why not? Yeah, I did get the same. Yeah, they send like, every couple of weeks through the yeah. whole year. They send. It's Don't getting forget, too the race, late. It's coming up. The race is coming. I know you already got tickets. Yeah, we, we already have our tickets. We've had the tickets for it's for I mean, Canada like, for a while. So weeks before the season started, yeah. we bought them, and yeah. we were getting bo- bothered before that. It's it's kind of right, but at the same time. Yeah, it's also too big and boring of an article to talk about Bernie selling the TV rights to private private pay channels, putting them behind paywalls. Uh, Germany's TV ratings dropped the most of any country last year. It was like 18%, I think it was. Jesus. And uh, the attendance was down too, so that's pl- hugely paying, playing but, into them. But, but now Mercedes doesn't have the biggest, most dominant team does not have a home Grand Prix either. Yeah, but 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 he but again, you know, I don't know, I don't know how many times like people need to like show 
that it's it's not a problem just about F1. Is it is TV yeah. subscribership in general around the world is going down, and that's yep. an irreversible tr- uh, trend right now. So it's not about oh, you know, <laughs> if if free TV doesn't work, then why don't we go to pay TV? That's not the solution, Bernie. Everybody but Bernie knows what the opposite trend is. Yeah, everybody's going to internet TV. Yeah, or uh, mobile, devices. mobile devices. Mobile device. <laughs> I, I haven't I haven't service. owned I haven't owned cable in like for years. Like yeah. all, pretty much all of my adult life, mm. I, I I haven't had cable and I haven't missed it. Yeah. You know, you know what yeah, I mean. Yeah, I haven't had TV. Yeah. That's it. I'm on year. eight or nine years of n- no flicking. Yeah, I, damn. I couldn't if I wanted to. They have no access to watching TV. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There's, there's nothing there that I need to see. Yeah, commercials. You can't watch it. Yeah, yeah. yeah, like. <laughs> yeah, but, but there's like football season for that, right? Or uh, the Super Bowl. No, no. But that's what I'm saying. Like, like the only thing that you go to see on TV now is commercials and. Bad shit rehashed. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Reality TV. Yeah, fuck them. Yeah, I mean it's it, it's just I mean if if you're trying that hard, like it, it's just it's a, it seems like they're trying so hard to defend like and 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 to make sure that this old technology stays alive. Why? Mm-hmm. Like everything everything else is moving. Is it you're 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 swimming as a current. You're fighting a losing battle. And Bernie doesn't care, man. He's 84 years old. Yeah, he's gonna die I'm going to rise this till I Get die. Get as much yeah. money as I can till he dies. Exactly. Yeah, that's it. That's his deal. It's not. Counterproducive, and I hope that I hope that F1 doesn't hurt too much after him. But I mean, no, everybody. I think I think I mean, with, with that with that thing that you showed me uh, uh, this morning, and and just the alternatives that we know that exist, mm. like racing for me and whatnot. A streams. Yeah, people like. It's people will not stop watching the sport if you know if if, if it becomes if no. they if they put a paywall in between them. Um, so hopefully, I mean, hopefully they they, they catch up to the trend. Um, they will have to. I mean, sooner or later, I'm sure. The real fans, anyways. Yeah, we know who we are. Yeah. <laughs> 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 anyways, exactly. fucking Malaysia is about ten days away to free practice. In uh, in North America, anyways, because of the ridiculous time change. That's true. Yeah, I know you got to get out of here. That's you got some prior arrangements. That's a, that's good. That's gonna be a good, good, good Grand Prix. I we'll love, talk, I love Malaysia. We'll, we'll talk about that news next week. Next week. And, and, uh, oh, watch watch this uh, this cool thing that we're doing now. Uh, the the drive along. We're gonna do this ride along. The ride along. We're gonna ride do this along, and, drive along. I don't know. Every every race. Listen to bamboo.com. <laughs> Let's start this one too. Let's start them at the same time. <laughs> it's already too late. Oh no no. I'm gonna wait. I have to wait. But soon. Nice. Alright. This is the flat out fever. Formula One ride along. Australian Grand Prix in Melbourne. <laughs> Way. Sweet. Yeah, let's do it. So, yeah, anybody listening, you're not going to be able to hear any race. You got to uh, kind of sync it up yourself. If right. you want to. If you want to, if you want to do that. <laughs> uh, what we're doing is, uh, and this is something really cool that we're going to be doing every single race weekend, uh, or you know, for every single race, um, we're going to have uh, the race going, and uh, we're just going to comment on the, the action on track as we watch it. But, but, but you don't watch it. You don't get to no, watch it. No, you don't get to watch it. Yeah. <laughs> Give us a little, more, a little bit more of the, in my ears anyway, if you could do. All right. Yeah. Is that good? Can I get a bit more? There we go. There you go. Can you do them individual? No. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh. Uh, oh, maybe I can. Hold on. Sorry. Yeah, this is new for us. We're going to we're, yeah. we're try some oh, stuff. Yeah. Bear, bear with us for a second. But Juice me up on the race noise. <laughs> so oh, I, can't, I can't do it like that. Okay. I can't Wait. separate it like that. Uh, I can give you more, though. Yeah, yeah. Is that That's fine? Good, good, yeah. What we got right now going on is the twentieth um, uh, Australian Grand Prix that happens in Melbourne. Oh, twentieth! The twentieth, yeah, they're celebrating the twentieth year. A beautiful city. Yeah, look at all these guys parasailing down on the beach. Beautiful. <laughs> it's so very nice. This is what happens. Oh, you can see all the heat. Yeah. Yeah. 
Make it full screen. Oh, yeah, right. Sorry. Full screen. There we go. Nice. Oh, it's the Gillette. This is the Gillette car. <laughs> <laughs> As buttons McLaren. Uh, and so this this happens every time. Um, I just, okay. uh, just so you know, I, this is the beginning of the race. Uh, all the cars get put on the grip. Now, the cars got here by doing uh, an installation lap. Okay. A um, couple of installation laps. But one of the guys that was supposed to compete here, um, uh, that was... Um, Here's your grid yeah. if, you haven't, if you haven't seen it yet. Okay. Yeah, as we go. Yeah. yeah. Oh shit. Now this is the result of qualifying, obviously. So uh, throughout the previous days. Yeah. Well, yeah, yesterday. Yeah, yesterday. 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 Well, okay. uh, the Saturday. Okay. Yeah. yeah ne- next time we'll introduce you to qualifying in, in Malaysia. Now, is qualifying when you're doing that? Is it like uh, everyone at the same time, or is it just individual? Just so there's three sessions, and okay. uh, and each session is uh, shorter in time. Yeah. And then the first session, you eliminate. Everybody but the top fifteen. Okay. So the, the top fifteen they get to go to the second. Are there qualifying even fifteen session. cars? Well, yeah. There's more than fifteen cars. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. But not by much. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Well, two 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 cars didn't compete at all this weekend. Oh shit. And then uh, that was Magnuson's car. So Magnuson's McLaren. Yeah. So after after Magnuson was given, uh, so see, yeah, see, after he was given Alonso seat. Guy looks weird. Yeah, he's uh, he's from Denmark, I guess. Oh. Um. <laughs> It all makes sense. <laughs> it all makes sense. He was giving Alonso a seat, but s- something happened in, in the lap that takes a car from the pits here to the to the grid. Right. Something happened to his engine. His engine blew. And oh, no. He, yeah, he's, he, his car is just stranded somewhere in the middle of the track. If you want to see picked up. Kevin Magnuson starting in last place, because the, see the wallpaper on my phone there? Yeah. He, uh, oh, wow. He, oh, he fucked it up. He lost, totally lost control. Yeah, he... he he broke everything. Oh, but that, that, what yeah. an asshole. Yeah, he broke it during qualifying, and then his yeah. car just broke um, yeah. uh, here just before the race started. No way. Yeah. So, so they're he, not even... He, he crashed, and then uh, doing his installation lap, his car basically just caught on fire. <laughs> look, look who it is. Look who it is. Oh, yeah. Is that the, Arnold? That is Arnold. <laughs> Arnold. <laughs> Yeah, the Terminator. Wow, Speak. I didn't know he was an F one guy. Yeah, he's he's apparently really into F one. Yeah, they, they talked to him just before this. Uh, basically, he's there for the Arnold Schwarzenegger World Strongman. Oh, Australia I actually just saw a video of that oh, on yeah? Reddit where he's screaming at this guy with a microphone. He's like, "You can do it!" <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and he's like yelling at this guy, and it's hilarious. You got to see, it's great. You know, something's. I think we got to put that brightness back, maybe. Now it's like darkened it's out. I don't know. Something's not right. See that? Yeah. Something's fucked up. Yeah, yeah I guess he, he's there for that. Undo and then undo those changes. This, oh, Jesus. This is his first time he's uh, yeah. in the uh, in in that. Right? I'd, I'd say like go hot, do maybe like a half. Like, Something like that's that. A, that's oh, okay. Yeah, that's, that's good. That's actually, cool. okay. Here we go. Yeah. Okay. So wait. So now they're, they're gonna, start. So now they're race. gonna do the warm up lap. Oh, actually, yeah, yeah. So warm up lap. What does that mean? Yeah. yeah. So now they're gonna go up and rev up, rev the engine, slam the brakes a bunch of times. Okay. And you'll see them like wiggling back and forth, like okay. this, like an okay. S, doing like an S to warm up the tires. And now that's like as, as soon as the cars are doing that, there's they give, they give the that's the 15 second warning that there's new penalties about this year. Everybody that was there to like, yeah. See, see so now all the mechanics and whatever they have to like. Get the fuck out of the track. Get the fuck out of here. Everybody <laughs> runs. See so they come out with all these oxygen bottles and tire heaters and whatever fans and cooling fans and all that. Yeah. Like 20, so, 20 guys a car. Look how many leaves there are. They're like, Daddy, you pointed this out to me earlier. Just at the start. Yeah. It's, it's the beginning of the fall it's there, the fall right? There, right. Oh. Because it's a stress. Yeah. It's all fucking upside down. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> the other way. Oh, I know that turn. <laughs> okay, so yeah, it's, uh, they're they're, clo- they're close to as far south of the equator as we are north of it. Oh, really? Well, but not quite, but but yeah. But they don't get like snow and shit like we would. No, they're right on the sea. No, it's so, right on yeah. the sea, right, right, right. It's the average. Well, if you'll see the helicopter shots again. They got palm trees lining the highway. Oh, okay. So that's I think awesome. it stays in the te- in the mid teens or something in the winter, but. That's what's on the track too. Is palm leaves. It's a they don't, <laughs> yeah, you see? Don't, be, they don't have to be sad yeah. about the winter time coming. Yeah. <laughs> Look, they're all they all got suntans and shorts on. So, <laughs> oh, man, it looks so nice there. <laughs> yeah, it's beautiful. This city yeah. is amazing. We, so we thought the one of the facts we 
popped out the other day. Yeah. This is the fourth most expensive city in the world tied with Oslo. Yeah. Wow. And just for a comparison, I checked our city here. Take, yeah. a, take a guess. Because it's not very cheap. Yeah, to Toronto's like, not cheap. The city's not uh, cheap. Eighth. Higher? Yeah. Yeah, man. We're, we're number two in Canada. For for perspective, Vancouver's number one. We're oh number two. God. That's fucking crazy. Tr- I did not know it's that. It's up there, though. Keep going. Keep guessing. You're not close yet. Oh, 15? No. No. Way more. 20. No. Higher. 100. 101. And oh, I was kind of close. 101st in the world. And, and Vancouver, Vancouver was 98, I think. Oh, or my something. God. 96, yeah. 98. Yeah, and they're number four. Actually, like you my were, what, yeah, tell that my, story. my prospective <laughs> landlord, my now new landlord, uh, he said his son uh, just got uh, transferred to um, to Melbourne for a project. Oh wow! And he says that like he's paying in rent, like like basically the a lot of apartments and houses there only rent out by the week because because it's so high demand and somehow like and he's paying like sixteen hundred a week for a one bedroom. Now why is it so would, expensive there? Do they is it because they all sort of it, know that if there's a nuclear holocaust, Australia is the place to go? <laughs> <laughs> Them kangaroos. There's, there's yes. a book, I can't remember what book it is. I, I read in high school, but it's essentially about that. Chrysalis. No, it was another one. Oh, Similar. Uh, <laughs> not quite, but see, this, this guy yeah, the race director. Yeah. So okay. you see he's, he has like a pan uh, looking uh, old as fuck. Well, he, he has a panel in front of him and like he He's the one that pushes the button. He okay. can, it's about to start. He controls the yellow lights. He controls the red lights. Race director supreme. Pay attention to this and maybe turn up the volume a little bit because this is the start. Yeah. Official start of the 2015. I just don't want it to. No, it's fine. Okay. I, okay. We can still hear each other. Yeah, yeah. 2015 season is about to get started with Let's this. Let's do it. Let's do it. So the way. So no, everybody's warmed <laughs> so up. So there, there's five lights. One. And then two, as soon as they like three, turn them off, that's. Four. And then whenever he wants, buddy presses the button and we there go. There we go. Whenever he wants? Yeah. Well, he whatever he deems within, safe. Within one to five seconds, you <laughs> turn him off and oh they go. Oh, my God. Look at that. So, right now, tons. Oh, Lewis Hamilton. Hamilton's yeah, baby. way out in front I of I got him. Keep, Roscoe Rocket. Keep your eyes. Oh, look, look. Oh. Oh. <laughs> no. Oh, yeah. no. Already. First yeah. corner, Maldonado. <laughs> Crash Donato. But he, it wasn't his fault. Yeah, it was, so what, that wasn't what, his So fault. now, is he just fucked? Well, here we got the safety car out already. Yeah. So because because the, his car is in the middle of like a, a, a the track, but in a in, in a part of the track where it could be actually dangerous, um, then they they they're gonna call the st- the actual safety car, not the virtual one, but the actual. Jesus. Yeah. yeah. You see, and then these panels around the edge of the track, they're like they're sort of like race control panels. Okay. You see, they're saying flashing SC right now, so everybody knows. Yeah. Oh. There he is. But look at that. that looks it's, hashtag a wrecked. A lot of yeah. damage there. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Back, oh my God. His back wing is collapsed. So Both. wait, do they have a backup car for him? Nope. No. Nah, they used done. to though. Oh really? Yeah. Back in the day, they had like a third backup car. No. 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 no, no, no. Oh, okay. It's getting, wow. Yeah. If you thought it was expensive, now. Yeah. Jesus Christ. We used to have three cars per team. Yeah. That's nuts. Yeah. And he's fucked. That sucks. He's that's done. Sh- yeah, that's yeah, that's his race right there. That's what he does, though. Now, well, now that's will he's he be, the be back with uh, next next ne- next in race? Malaysia? Yeah. He'll be back. Oh, okay. Yeah. Where, where do they do they have another car? No, no, they have to they're rebuild just, this. Rebuild it. <laughs> Ooh, what? Well, the guy, the guy starting in last place there, Kevin Magnuson, from that photo I showed you, they yeah. rebuilt the car overnight. This is the next afternoon. Holy shit! Less than twenty four hours later, he's racing in the same same chassis. I would I would guess. Yeah, same chassis. I think the, the chassis stays the same by a large, but um, like I mean, the wings, the front and back, they're all like they they have spares for all these parts, right? Sure. So yeah, it's it's not as bad as it may seem, but it's still right. pretty bad. It's still yeah, like yeah. fucked. The teams are allowed to have backup parts there, but not assembled. Oh really? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So there's something like so that. There's no way you could okay join there's, in. There's no. They have a backup car, but it's in in a truck in pieces, right? Oh, okay. That's right. the rules. They have to re. They rebuilt basically rebuilt the car overnight. So wait, he fucked up the car. Yeah. And that like during the qualifier. During qualifying. And then he it got fucked up again in the next race. Or is well, it a different guy? It, it, not not this guy, but a guy that didn't even start. Oh, his, no. his car just fucked up. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, different different guy. Magnuson. Rolex. That's plastered all over. And F1. see this see this car now, this Lotus. Yeah. Yeah. 
This is his teammate, Roman Grosjean. So, see, the, the guy that got just, just crashed. Like, <laughs> Did that just happen? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the guy just tripped. <laughs> One of these mechanics just tripped over. It was a fire Roman, extinguisher Roman guy. Roman Grosjean's back tire. And okay, here, accidentally set off the fire yeah, extinguisher. Okay, so there, there's a start from above. You so can see, clearly, you can see, see them, Grosjean's yeah. car actually right there. Going all the way oh, back. I didn't so, notice that before. Yeah. So, he's losing power from the very beginning. So, yeah. that's probably what they, they just brought retired him, in. him. You see that bump there? See the crash? Yeah. There's yeah, a, and boom. There's a three-car pilot. Oh. <laughs> is, is the beginning of the race the most likely that something's going to get fucked up? Yeah. yeah. Okay, I figured. Yeah. Pretty much, yeah. Because there's so many cars just fighting for positions and stuff like that, right? Exactly. That's exactly Like this it. red guy over here. Who's that? That was uh, Kimi Raikkonen. Kimi Raikkonen. Okay, yeah. He yeah. could have gotten... He could have gotten, like, yeah, severely he came fucked. Out, yeah. Yeah. Jeez. That's the Iceman. The Iceman. The ice, ice, black ice, ice the ice man. Uh, just, oh, the ice man. <laughs> I think you can see it here, like in, in this in this different angle of the replay, over here to the left. Yeah, this is, this is on board with the Australian here, hometown hero, Ricciardo. Oh, oh, Whoa. oh my God! Just squeezed through there. Yeah, Ricciardo just narrowly missed that accident. But you can see it because so this is Vettel now. Getting too like at the he, in my opinion he he maybe was a bit too aggressive there on that corner. Let's see Jensen. He did get a good start. Yeah. Now you guys were talking about the cameras, right? Um, before, like the the See, camera mount things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Did, like all the cameras I'm seeing from the the thing I'm seeing from the top of the car. There's there's like there's several camera mounts that are required by the Formula One management. So they so there's there's these these two at the front, right front, and then they have there has to be another one somewhere up here on uh, on top of like or in and around the air intake. Yeah. Um, for the for the overhead camera, which is the one that we're just seeing mm -hmm. and there's supposed Beside to be the head. one more at the back isn't it or like one more near the back somewhere like that pointing back yeah and there so and then i think then they move some some cameras around depending on the race they just pick the okay put them on yeah. different cars we can see some of them they have the oh my god so fast the camera's kind of right here beside the driver's head mm -hmm. on a lower level sometimes and uh, sometimes also at the top the also right, sometimes they'll mount uh, thermal cameras on some of the cars, you can see the heat, just basically a heat image. How fast is that that car going? Probably around 200. They have to keep moving to uh, yeah. keep heat, keep the engine warm, keep the brakes warm, and keep the. But the safety the car though, the, the safety car is is not going 200. I it's, think so. It's going close to probably. Look how fast they're going right there. Yeah, that's true. That's still pretty fast. Burn that's why it's a super right Mercedes. Yeah, Shit, that's they didn't crazy. pick a Honda Civic to be the pace car. <laughs> <laughs> well, they should have hatchback. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you see again, see again how they're weaving back and forth, like that. Just yeah, really, yeah. That's what keep the tires warm. Yeah. You see the sign on the right there too, still flashing. Oh, okay. Safety, safety, safety. So later they're gonna um, they're gonna pull the safety car in, and that's a decision of the likes of Charlie Whiting mm. or him and his team of um of people look after the safety and they call the they call the safety car back in but they can't start racing right away it has they have to wait till this line boom okay okay so now yeah. now they're going yeah now yeah now they're, they're everybody in front on. of that line is going yeah okay yeah, yeah. oh holy fuck <laughs> this is intense yeah <laughs> oh, took it he took it yeah. So I think this is something that not a lot of people expected was Sauber to come back like this. Just took a, took a place from Red Bull. But in practice, like we we did see at the at the beginning of practice how yeah. um the Saubers kept putting some pretty good times, but nobody like nobody expected this. Just yeah, especially with the the two rookies. Yeah. That bright blue and yellow car that just overtook on, uh, on yeah. the restart. Yeah. Um yeah, this guy Nobody like they they didn't score a single point last year. Really? Not a single point they were that bad. But they've, they've been a team for decades now, and yeah. last last year was by far the worst year, <laughs> worst performance of all time. Wow. 
But now they're doing they they're doing pretty decent and they they have a Ferrari engine and the Ferrari engine is clearly looking a lot better. I mean, like the much Ferraris improved. are yeah, much improved from last year. Ferrari last year it was it was a year to forget. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but this wow. year like look, they they they're they're fighting there for some good positions. <laughs> yeah, this is a problem especially with these British announcers that we're listening to. Yeah. One guy's name is Felipe Massa. Yeah. And the other guy's name is Felipe Felipe Nazar. Oh. oh, that's crazy. And with their British accents, they're saying Massa and NASA. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> they're pronouncing Nazar like NASA. <laughs> and they're Jesus. both Felipe's. And they're both Brazilian. And you can't say the Brazilian <laughs> one because <laughs> they're both that's Brazilian. <laughs> that's so funny. Yeah. Well, it's well not for us. No, I'm not, <laughs> it's, conf- it's confusing. It's just, it's, I, it's funny to me. <laughs> <laughs> it's confusing. Wow, yeah. I never thought in my life I'd be so entranced by uh, F1, and I have. This is awesome. <laughs> this yeah. is, like watching this is crazy. Yeah, it's, I'm it's glad a- we could initiate you. Yeah, yeah. thank you, thank you. There's something we talked about in practice that I guess we were right about was that. At the beginning, especially that Sauber was doing a couple of hot laps. I mean, one of the first days they got the fastest lap of the day. The, the two and actually at the very beginning in the Hereth test, yeah. they were getting like fastest laps. Fax, yeah, lots every of them. Day. And uh, I think that because Ferrari never showed it, they they never had a fastest lap. And uh, I think that uh, Riva Bene and Ferrari told them to to chill out, yeah. Yeah, chill out with the quick laps in uh, pra- in practice. Yeah, Sauber. Calm they kinda, they kinda, down. Kind of gave uh, gave away the performance a little bit, For the, <laughs> not even a little bit, a lot. Yeah. Like I didn't expect this that Sauber would be in fifth place at the yeah. start of the first Grand Prix, but there they are. It's pretty incredible. But look, look, look how many people are out already. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, so many people out of the race. Like. At what? the very beginning already. <laughs> yeah. It's, yeah. This is like almost <laughs> unprecedented. And two cars didn't even start the race. There is, so wait, how many are racing right now then? Uh, I, I saw 15. I think, yeah, I think 15 or 16 are left. 15? Yeah. 15 maybe oh now? Oh, God. Yeah. Let's, we'll see. God damn it. That's cool. Oh, wait. No. 12 started, right? No. 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 16. 17? 16? 15 or 16. Yeah. Well, so Romain Grosjean. Maldonado is out. Yeah. Uh, Magnussen, I uh, Ma- Kvyat. Okay, we'll, we'll see in one second. But not during the race. During the race, it was only. I, th- I think it's only been Maldonado and um, uh, and Grosjean. Right. Yeah, so thirteen. We're down to thirteen on track. Yeah. Perez Perez is in last place right now, eighteen point eight seconds back. Just lap six, and so many people are out. What determines, uh, like, is every race 58 laps? Actually, it, ha- it has to be close to or, or at least 305 kilometers. And that's written on the on the FIA sporting regulations. Okay. I actually looked this up last week. That rule was in, in it set at 305 in 1988, I believe it was. All oh, of them crazy. except for Monaco. So, Monaco is only it's a 260. Bit, it's a bit shorter. But that's because it's, it, it's, a slow, it's a bit slower race. Yeah, right. The time. Oh, I see. Okay. So instead of saying at least 300 kilometers plus a lap, they just say minimum 305. And mm-hmm. then as many laps as it takes to do 305. Yeah. And that usually ends up being a number somewhere in like the high 50s. Sorry. Up to seven. Oh, who's the Gillette Razor? <laughs> no, I, like I'm, uh, I, B- I keep on seeing it. Button. Okay. Yeah. In Jensen what, Button. What, what? And Kevin Magnuson. And usually Fernando Alonso, that dude who crashed and got the uh, oh right, got the concussion. Yeah, that's who are they? Who do they race for? McLaren. McLaren. Okay. Honda McLaren. Okay. McLaren. Oh no, McLaren. McLaren Honda. The only two cars powered by Honda. Okay. Right. Yeah. But yeah, the races range like from like I think like the high forty laps to the low seventy laps. They, oh, they, they do oh, oh, out in the grass. Oh, uh, in the gravel. Now you're, in your the gravel. fucking tires are fucked now. Exactly. I learned that the hard way. <laughs> <laughs> Formula One. <laughs> oh, it's like, you got to change your tires. Like, oh, every time? 
<laughs> I did it a lot. <laughs> like every turn, I'm just like, ah, shit. <laughs> he's he's gonna like, stay out, but it's just like it's hard. Right. Yeah, it's just harder to get any grip. Yeah. Oh. Now will now will, now will he go in and and, and get them changed eventually? Uh, eventually, eventually. But, I think not, not you, right you just see if if they kept the onboard there within a few laps, it'll they get cleaned up. Oh really? Yeah, the dirt will just wear, kind of wear, wear off. Okay, but the tires are not the same. Yeah, everyone like every time that you go on the gravel, like your tires yeah. do get fogged, and he's especially the gravel more for sure more right. than the grass. Yeah. But if he goes in the pits right now, is it could just screw up the pit strategy for the rest of the race. Right. You gotta I think see. like you gotta think that now you're you're mm-hmm. thinking of fifty eight laps, not just doing a time trial. You're right. So yeah. Yeah. Something no, I, yeah, no. Something I noticed here that I'm curious now if it's going to be for the, a new thing for the rest of the season or if it's just something that Australia brought in this year is all the meter boards. You see how like yeah. on the side of the track coming up, do you see like the 200, 150, the 50, they give you the uh, yeah, yeah. 100 meters, how many meters to break? They're all bright orange here. Well, a lot of them are. There's this one section where they are. They were yeah. green on the other straight. Wait, are we listening to their radio? Yeah. yeah. See it there? Orange, orange, orange. Wait, wait. What am I? What, what orange? What do you? On the side of the. See on the side of the track there? Yeah. See the oh, green on the back. The green oh, okay. on the back. Their faces back. are bright orange. I've never seen that. They're normally white. Yeah, these these meter marks. Oh, oh really? I'll show you. Oh, before before like uh, after a long straight like I push into a corner, it'll let them know like you're 300 yeah. meters ooh, away, ooh. 400. Yeah, there's a marker. Okay. Uh, the next corner, you'll see the month. Right, oh. yeah. <laughs> Keep camera keeps cutting. Yeah. The, and then you're seeing the back of them again. <laughs> as soon as you want to see them, there can't you can't. Cool. But yeah, yeah. Next time, like that, somebody starts going on the radio, like we'll listen to it. But yeah, you can see, like you can hear, like um, the radio transmission of some stuff. Mm-hmm. They like they kind of parse it. You don't hear everything, and it's delayed by like what, like a couple minutes, maybe. Yeah, I guess couple. Because somebody, I guess somebody in their their producer in their studio is listening to everything, and when something interesting happens, they'll cut it and throw it up, right? Mm, okay. Yeah. But there's something we talked about this a bit last week. Part of the new rules this year. Is that you can't get the like up until last year you could tell that they could be telling the driver, okay, Lewis, we need you to drive slower in turns okay. two and three. You're wearing out your left tire. The guy behind you is catching up by 0.5 seconds. That's you some pretty meta do, shit to know. You can't. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like yeah. in, in terms of like, you wouldn't know that otherwise, unless like at, uh, at, uh, like a post race sort of information. Like imagine yeah. you you gathered information from yeah. the race, and then, and then afterwards you would have gotten. You're like, ah, oh, okay, now I know that how I have to do it. That's Instead too late though. Like, that's already too, obviously. Can way you come too late. back next year in a totally different car? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. But uh, I you gotta know I don't in know the how race. I, like, how, how do you guys feel about that? I don't. I, like, I well, don't, some people feel, feel, felt like re- uh, retarded about it because um, then. There's a question of like how much actual driving out of like sheer skill is the driver doing if they're always right. just getting like coaching at all these like bits of information and told how to drive from your engineer. You right. know what I mean? Like if Right. Like, but I also feel that it's like especially after watching that video. Yeah. There's already so much shit going on. Exactly. You're, the they the the driver is so focused just in the being in the moment yeah and yeah. how is he like no nah, man fuck that <laughs> no nah, nah, i totally I, well they, 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 cut, they cut down on those on those rules and you're not allowed to do that anymore which is good so most people agree that this is a good right. decision yeah so that was basically my point is that this year none of that is allowed right there, there's a whole list which we should find and read but uh they actually read it on the qualifying i think but there's basically can't tell them anything right they could say like okay it's time to come into the pits Absolutely no coaching well, about drivers in front, drivers behind. They can give them corners. their own lap well, times. Yeah, sorry, you can uh, get your own lap sorry, times. Do you want them to be able to know more or less? Less, less. Ah, okay. By the rules, but the teams okay. would want them to know everything, right? right? Well, how about you? Do you do you less or more? For myself, yeah. personally, oh, personally, yeah, le- less is better. Okay. But the thing is that now, 
this year they have new LCD screens on their steering wheel, which is like my phone screen here. Yeah. Full color now. And last year some of the teams weren't even using them. And yeah. this year now they most of the teams are. Now almost every team is, except for one that doesn't have a lot of money. Because <laughs> because of the radio rules, they're gonna just be reading all that data here. They're just like they have like controllers here that goes left and right, up right. and up and down. Right. And it's just they're scrolling through all the data here. Like how, but hey, oh, how many G's, if you can, G if you can forces drive are, your car and still and like do that? do that, then you know, good on you. I, right. I'd say that you know. <laughs> well, to, to, I don't know. Oh, sparks! <laughs> Being like that as a spectator, it's almost better to have the radio back because we can't see the screens. Right. At least you could hear some of the radio right. before. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. I prefer I prefer them not knowing though. No coaching. Ben, I would love to play this uh, with Oculus Rift or like some sort of VR thing. That would be it phenomenal. Exists. Wait, it does? There's nothing for F1. Is there any games? For I saw it maybe a year ago for Oculus Rift. Somebody got it working uh, with the F1 game. Get the fuck out. That's amazing. You might be able to do it with the cardboard with that oh. Trinus Geyer streaming thing. It, it, does it kind of does it for you. What is it? You got to look into it. Eventually, it's gonna be soon though. Yeah, those uh, that's true. Yo, virtual reality sh it's shit's here. gonna be everywhere. Yeah, in, in a year or two, it's gonna be. Well, a now Valve, future shop. Valve just released their or announced their new one. They're, they're building with, their with own? HTC. Oh yeah, yeah, and it looks. It's like it's gonna be the, the top end of VR. Let's put it that way. For a few months, anyway. Yeah, yeah. If something's just gonna come back. Like something's it's, gonna come out new, new and just better. It's yeah. the new hot for thing half, now. half the price. Exactly. Yeah, I mean, but. I think that the, oh. <laughs> they look okay. <laughs> See, I think stuff like that is allowed. They can ask the driver, how, right. how are you doing? How's your tires? How's your temperatures? Right. Yeah, they can but give they, him information about themselves. But he can't like, say, hey, Felipe, your tires are fucked anymore. But the other way, like that is fine. So there's the woman that caused all the trouble for Sauber. Why? That's Was she being a bitch? Monisha <laughs> Carltonborn. Oh, she just she's seems a, team a little principal. bit incompetent, incompetent at her job. Yeah, she's the team principal. She was the one that was possibly going to jail last last oh, week. Oh damn! Oh damn! Well, actually, yeah, I guess uh, would we have even talked about it? Okay, well, we last time out we talked about how. The yeah, one we talked F1 about the court team case. was getting sued by this one driver that said, "Okay, I got a piece of paper that says that I'm supposed to be racing this year. Um, what are you going to do about it?" And L last week we finished recording our show two hours before the um, the verdict was passed oh, that, down. That's right. Yeah, uh, yeah. yeah. Okay. So yeah, as soon as I went home, I I, I got I saw it online, but they upheld it. Uh, so it's still stuck that this guy had legal rights to drive the car. But then he did. He's not here. Dri like this dude that was suing the, the F1 team is not driving the car. Whoop. Whoa. So I don't like nice. this fight. Kay. Wait, same Mike. team. No. Yeah, exactly. That I was, knew it. No, ah. no. Oh. It's, they're not. That was my point is that they're not on the same team. What do you mean they're, they're not on the this same is, team? Their cars just yeah. look so similar. I was going to say. What do you mean they're not on the same team? Exactly. Okay, you see the difference now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, Very especially faint. in the sun like this. This is kind of like oh the afternoon God. here. Yeah, the, yeah, yeah. The yeah, black with the reflection looks a bit similar to the no, chrome no, with the reflection reflecting the. At that's first, reflecting I thought the black they were very similar. The asphalt. But, but, you're, but you're right, Mike. I mean, it's yeah. it shouldn't be this difficult to tell between to tell between two teams. Like they don't have any shared sponsors or anything. They're actually black and orange, and the other one is more like bright, more like red and chrome. But yeah. <laughs> Holy from a, from afar, shit. yeah. If, as a spectator, like you can't really tell, and they just they both have like sort of like you know Simi stripes, so the similar um, looks. Yeah, I guess themes I I can... like themes, but different colors. Y yeah, like I, I, like I know I know the Mercedes Mercedes has got the one the the rim, but I mean the other one also does on the side. So you mean the, the McLaren? Oh, the, the McLaren. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah, but yeah. It's, it's it's retarded, and one of those two teams should definitely change their colors drastically because it's otherwise it's just gonna be like kind of confusing the rest of the season. This is what everyone was expecting was that McLaren was gonna come out in their classic white and red Honda yeah. colors championship white. Uh oh, and Honda red. Oh. What was that? That was a lockup. Lock Tire lockup. Uh oh, he just he braked super hard and 
tire br- tire st- tire stopped. Jesus. They call that a under rotation. Hmm. Oh yeah, <laughs> tire, <laughs> tire under rotation. Tire is under rotating. That's fir- that's first of this year actually. We're here at lap fourteen, watching the fight, the battle for fifth between NASA Ricardo, uh, yeah, NASA Ricardo and Raikkonen, and NASA is keeping them at bay so far on that Sauber powered by the Ferrari engine. Look at that! Look at that! He's like actually pulling away. It's and quite here, incredible. Oh, yeah. So here's the Ricardo in car in, in sixth position right now. Last year, he was the only one that was able to bring the fight up to the Mer- to dominant Mercedes, mm. and now he's just he's battling uh, Nasser, brand new driver. Oh, oh, oh shit! Perez just spun out. Lap fourteen, he called the yellow flag. Oh, he lost. He lost a bit of he carbon lost fiber. A bit of uh, is it one of those green bits? <laughs> <laughs> Chunk, chunky carbon fiber. <laughs> uh oh. Jensen Button. See something you missed from practice and qualifying was that uh, Ricciardo is down one engine for the season already. Uh oh. Oh okay. He blew an engine, and uh, that's it. He's got three left now for the rest of the year. That's ah, fucked, man. And same with uh, Kevin Magnussen. His uh, on the, on the the installation lap, his which actually we didn't see is just before the start of the broadcast. He's uh, halfway around the lap. Oh shit! Yeah, Sorry, I missed that radio message. But he had smoke coming out of his exhaust and and intake. Basically, the engine caught on fire. He's down one too. Yeah. Well, Jesus. that's not even his car. It's Fernando Alonso's car. Oh, look at that! That that's that's how it happened. Oh, a little contact. He like, yeah. A little bit. Did there they touch? Again. Yeah, they I think touched. They did. It touched. Oh, Whoa, oh. look at that! Look at all that fiber fly oh. around. <laughs> a bit of wing too. Wow. Jesus that was crazy. Christ! So yeah, not not his fault, but Kevin Magnussen's car caught, engine caught on fire. Now Fernando Alonso is down one engine. Suffered a concussion a few weeks ago, and he's down one engine for the season now. What does the button say? <laughs> so that's so. <laughs> what, did he, what did he say? So that that's button on the McLaren, right? Right. Um, and the thing is that because so many people are not in this race right now and people keep crashing or whatever they're saying that you know maybe there's maybe there's some points that we can get because from one to ten you get you get championship points okay so basically what they're saying is like oh you know you could you could come in for 10 like you can yeah. come in 10 and get some valuable points there but that's how bad the honda engine has ham is up there oh fuck yeah well, this sorry, is, who's second? Who's Ross? Rosberg. 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 Yeah, that's okay. Hamilton's teammate. Nico Rosberg. This, oh, this is telling you here how much fuel they've used so far in, in kilos. kilos. Oh, I thought they were like times or some shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I saw the first three. Okay. So the maximum you can put in your tank for any race now is 100 kilos. So you can see how much everyone's used, but they, you don't know how much they started with. Ah, uh, okay. You know, yeah. You want to start with... The least amount of fuel you could think you can get away with to keep the weight down, right? Right, Basically, right. Basically, the ideal would be to cross the finish line and instantly run out of gas. Right. Okay, right. right. See, yeah, I got yeah. that. I like that turn. That's a fun turn. Yeah. I like those S ones. Yeah. Chicanes. Chicanes? Okay. Yeah, that's, that's what they That's the proper, it's the proper term. Yeah. It's a jog. There's another chicane. Sort of. It's a jog left and right or right and left. Have you looked up the technical, like the actual definition of a chicane? I like the definition of a chicane is an artificial, uh, like corner that's added it's to a added circuit to slow you down. To slow you down, but yeah, no. Driving, it just feels like a sh- like a short, like left and right or right <sighs> and left. Yeah. But on a course like this, it's not a hundred percent artificial. Because yeah, some chicanes are not most, artificial. Most of this track is just regular roads and uh, bike paths and stuff in the year. Oh, really? This is this is a like it's like the Central Park or the High Park of of Melbourne, right? Oh, okay. Yeah. And sa- same as the um, the track in Montreal. Right, who's going in here? Who's going in? The well, one? that that this, was uh, was that Vettel? No, that was this, this is Raikkonen. Kimi Raikkonen. And then he's coming in for a tire change. 
Jesus. Just the regular pit stop so, now. Okay, okay, so you check. See the, the, the yellow band on oh, the outside shit. of the tires? Yeah. Oh, Look at that. Yeah. Look at this. They can't get the... Oh, oh fuck. Yeah, 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 trouble like, trouble changing his tire. Wow. Eight points. See, a good pit stop is like just under three seconds. Oh, three so really? Average took, three and a half. Eight point seven. Just so. under nine, right there. Oh, that, that's brutal. It was almost yeah. a triple stop. For him. What happened? Oh, I think they. I think that's still the old tire. It wasn't the old tire. They couldn't. They, they didn't manage to change it. Did they? Did they not change it? I think so. Oh shit! I didn't. I didn't see. So what I think is, he had that little bump at the start of the race. That that was. Uh, that yeah, that was on the opposite side though. Oh yeah, you're right. You're right. Yeah. <laughs> that could have messed up. It still could have messed up his tire. Look, okay. Yeah, let's okay, see, let's see what happened now. No, he oh, no, they, yeah, they did have they did have changes. He just couldn't put it back on. Oh yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Oh shit! You can hear the gun. Burr, 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 burr. <laughs> Looking yeah, for the bite point. For whatever, they just the bolt wouldn't torque down. Wow. And Lewis Hamilton clocking another fastest lap at the lap eighteen. Yeah. Wow. One thirty two one. This this whole race, I mean, right now, my my fantasy F one is not looking good at all. I forgot to make any changes before. Th- before so w- when is it that you, that the that that the thing locks down? I think they might be different, but I think uh, qualifying at the minute that the flag goes green for qualifying, then oh, yeah? you're, then you're stuck. Oh okay. Your choices are made for that for the weekend and, and locked until the end of the race. So you can lock it like but you so All you can three leagues that we were participating in work that way, I believe. So you can change it though after you, practice. After Friday practice you can still make changes. You can still yeah, you can change okay. up your team, yeah. Okay. So I, that's what I see that's what I should have done. I didn't. And I believe two, <laughs> two of the three leagues that we are competing in, you can make changes uh unlimited for the first 2 weeks. So oh, un- nice. until after Malaysia is done. Okay, good. Free unlimited changes, so you can see where everybody sits, where everybody stands. Except UDT, those are twenty for the year, or something. Yeah, you might be right. Yeah, the other ones they have some sort of metered changes that are allowed per week or something like that too. But I think your countdown or whatever for those ones doesn't is not depleted for the first two weeks. Okay, you're free. You're free to. Uh, you're free to sauber it, <laughs> as they're saying now. Yeah. You just switch up your drivers at will. <laughs> uh oh. Somebody's getting yelled at by Arriva Bene. Arriva Bene. What do you mean? Why didn't you get that tire on? Yeah. Buddy looked a little disheveled. Arriva Bene, I mean, he looks always like really sweaty and tired. He whenever, has been. Whenever they show him. <laughs> well, I mean, can you imagine like the tremendous respons- responsibility? And the deal is that, uh, and some some reporters have been saying he clearly doesn't know a lot about like the technical aspects of the car, but he's been pretty good at managing the people that do. I think uh, I don't know if you got a chance to watch the um, the constructors conference uh, from Friday. No, I didn't. Oh, okay, uh, Arriva Benny made a a little. Sp- Massa with degradation on lap 19. And Kimi Raikkonen doing a fastest lap. This was unheard of in the middle. Okay, so we're, what, about a third of the way in, a bit more than a third of the way in to the race. And Ferrari wouldn't have been able last year at all to pull a, a fastest lap of the race. Never. No, it just it didn't no, happen at all last not year. Not even close. Oh, yeah, it's they're, they're the orange markers. Yeah, wow. they're those ones are orange on the back. But that's what I'm saying. I've never seen orange before. They've always been white. So I don't, I'm curious if it's for the whole season, part maybe part of safety to make them more visible. Well, sorry, what I was saying there before, we had a team radio came up there. I remember Benny made, somebody asked him in the team, in the constructors conference about his experience and how he's been learning and stuff. And he said, yeah, you just, you got to get hands on. You go to the factory, you talk to everybody, you ask, Show me what's your job? How do you do this? How did this machine work? And he said he's just been walk basically like that. He's been, he just gets in with everybody and spends time and, you know, keep keep everybody motivated and to learn. He said, yeah, basically like he has to a lot to learn. Oh, for sure. These guys, especially compared really to a lot of the other, the other team principals, 
Sorry, what was that? <laughs> the, who, who was that? What team they, was they that? Just, they, <laughs> they showed the Sauber mechanics. Yeah. Just watching their boys right now. I mean, this Nasser kid and um, and even Ericsson, just, they're just doing a lot better than last year. <laughs> yeah, man. They, at this point, if they finish the race in these positions, they're going to get like so many more points than they did last year. Or, and because of that, so much more price money. Than they did last year. Yeah, I think those. So do you, do you get paid like so? so who? who uh, how much do you get paid if you come in first? Uh, nothing. <laughs> no, nothing. <laughs> but or okay, like who, a, a lot of money. Okay, who comes in first though? Okay, let's say Lewis Hamilton comes in first. Okay, see the thing is that. Okay, yeah, no, no. This this is worth explaining. So, um, yeah. it, the the points <laughs> of the constructors championship is what gets the team money. Okay, right. So. As a as the your Formula One team gets money for every point that your driver scores, your car basically, your car, okay. yeah. not your driver, because you can change your right, driver, right? Exactly. Oh, okay, okay. okay, correct. Yeah, yeah, your car, your two cars, yeah, your for, two cars for both of them, both of them, yeah. So wh whatever positions they, the both cars or one car, however many end up in the race, whatever that position is, whatever up like, till tenth, yeah, up okay. until tenth. However, wherever your driver that's driving that car is scored, you get a number of points. With the, like each one of those points is assigned like uh, I guess a, a dollar value at the okay. end, and based on that you get like however many mini millions. Um, but as a driver, your contract like for, it depends on who you're hired by. Right? Yeah, because the DFIA like doesn't give you any money for like even winning right. the championship is. Whoever you're driving for gives, gives you, you money. money. Ah, and okay. Also, sponsors. Some drivers have their own personal sponsors, like right. like this guy Felipe Nazar. The Sauber team wasn't blue and yellow last year. He's ba he's Brazilian and he's backed by Banco do Brasil. Oh, we talked about this before, I think. Right. So, but he specifically, his the other teammate has no not getting any money from Banco do Brasil. Right. But okay. they're they're basically paying for his drive, changed the name of the team, and. There could be not the name, for, but the color, well, the main the, colors for sure. Yeah, sorry, but yeah, the, sorry. Then it's not Banco do Brasil Sauber, but um, yeah, who knows how inside all their contracts with each individual individual sponsor, they most likely have performance contracts. Yeah. with most of them saying like, gotcha. you know, you you win a race. Jesus, we'll put those you guys look like stormtroopers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the Williams guys. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm sure if they if they win, they probably they're getting magazine ads from their sponsors sure, and definitely probably yeah. bonus probably bonus. Well, Rolex seems to fucking want to sponsor this <laughs> shit. Yeah, Rolex is actually um like a, a sponsor of like F1 as a whole. Oh really? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, the they, official timing sponsor. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Like that. Whenever you see the clock pop up, you most of the time you'll see uh, the Rolex ad pops everywhere. Jeez. Yeah. Fuck. And I think and I think they actually so used to be tagged. They actually like See, there you do go. supply Rolex. them with the with I know the, they're in the F1 game too, so. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Rolex is the official timing. It used to be tag 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 here. Yeah. Tag here, yeah. But not anymore. Hmm. It was tag here for a while, but now yeah, now I guess it's Rolex. I think it was last year too, yeah. It's been for a while. Yeah, a couple of years. See those palm trees lining the the little lake there. <laughs> Beautiful. This I I. It takes a a, a little bit, uh, maybe like a a few races, um, in, or 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 you know depending on on how you want, but. You don't you don't necessarily get to appreciate fully this part of the race because right now okay so the starts happened and close to the start up until like the first set of pit stops I guess yeah um it can be like pretty hectic still like people are still fighting for positions and stuff like that um and then right now we can call this like the the middle of the race where we're we're into the second third of the or yeah the second third of the race right um and. It may seem a little slow because at this point, like there, there tends to be less overtaking at this point, right? Okay, because um, everybody just kind of try to coast, try to look the position. But it's 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 pretty interesting once you really get into it because I, I I think of it as almost like the the chess game part of a right part okay. of part of the race because right now you're it's just 
part of it is like a race to yourself to try to like catch whoever's like in front. Yeah. Or if you're in front here, you want to like be able to like calculate it so that like you know you're keeping your tires um in, in, the, in the right condition you're thinking a few corners ahead and you're thinking of the guy that maybe is catching you or even if you're just racing by yourself you don't right. have anybody like directly ahead of or behind you still you still want to make sure that you stay in that position or or advance above right 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 um. oh Whoa. okay Whoop. but nope <laughs> No, you can you can do it. <clears throat> that means going to the pits. Pit, pit. So, oh, really? So yeah. So that's they're calling box, this guy, box, and he's box, probably gonna box, go. Box, box. Yeah. There we go. There he goes. He probably like his probably was just running out of tires, and yeah, the other guy was catching up too far. So they're like, you know what? Just come in yeah. with fresh new tires. You're gonna do better. It's, Another thing that is okay. So for this race, uh, Pirelli. It's getting, the, switching see, to the medium. Yeah, you, yeah. See, you see how like that one has like the 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 white, the, the white walls. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those are the medium tires. They have to ch they have to change the tires. Uh, like they ca they can't do the whole race on all softs or all mediums. Yeah. Oh, they really? Ha they have to switch like the, between the two compounds at least once in a race. So, so in some races, like uh, there's there not, no, they're, trying, they're trying to pull people. This is what they were predicting, like lap. 20 to 27 or something is yeah. the first pit window. Mm -hmm. the, uh, so the thing is, you have to start the start the race on the tires that you qualified on. So the same so type or the exact same the, ones? The, the ones. exact same four tires. Yeah. 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 Aren't aren't like tires usually bunk after? That's why you, you do you use it. The, the third qualifying round is 12 minutes. So some of the teams that's part of their strategy is they'll wait until there's like three minutes left right and try to do one fast lap and hopefully they don't make any mistakes and then yeah. their tires are better for the start some teams will do uh start on the worst tires yeah for depending on the track and strategy to get them out of the way so then yeah. in the race they'll they'll, they'll, they'll catch just, up yeah they'll, they'll they'll pull in their guy earlier than most than, than everybody else right and then just like stay on like the 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 harder tire whichever See, the harder tire is oh, shit. pirelli gives the pirelli decides which tires are used Oh, that was good. actually that, that, was, that was a good move. The lap twenty five, yeah, and Vettel right now came out ahead of Massa, so that was the pit strategy right there, well executed. So they call out, say, yeah. say that again. Okay, what happened? So they call Vettel on yeah. uh, lap twenty four to come into the pits because right, they were the two of them, right? Right, yeah, yeah. The the, the Williams, the, the, the Williams of Massa was fighting with with Vettel, yeah, uh, with Ferrari, uh, with uh, Ferrari Vettel. They pulled him. Into the pits and then pull uh, pull him oh, out. Look this, time. Look, sorry oh, yeah. to interrupt, but yeah. uh, Carlos Sainz here is having a little trouble changing his back left tire too. This, this is a curse this weekend. Oh my god! Kimi Raikkonen just had the same. Oh my god! This is a disaster though. Oh, Raikkonen was fuck. seven eight, eight and a half seconds. This is oh my god! Look at that! Oh, they got the tire off. The second one's on. Good to go. How long did oh, that take, god. man? Yeah, that was a while. Oh, Carlos this Sainz had a. Chili, holy moly! Sorry, check out, okay. Now, 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 check out how it's supposed to be done. Oh, he missed his marks. Look at that. He's off by uh, almost a foot. He was outside the tape. It should <laughs> be that quick though. But you see, you see the tape marks. Yeah, he's supposed to be right on the line. You see, the teams will put like marks to the left and right. How many inches? To, like, Line up it's it's never it's never perfect though. They always yeah. like. Well, they always got it's usually better than that. He was completely outside his mark. <laughs> outside the mark. That is unacceptable by any standards. Yeah. <laughs> I, that's not acceptable. I bet you if you look that up online, you'll find an article about the, him missing that. That's watch, watch. Oh, you can't see his lines. They have lines, and oh, then they, he was shit. out. He was outside the so, edges. Uh, whites of, are soft. Whites are mediums. medium. Mediums. Yes. Sorry, we got so it was orange. Super orange, soft. Super soft. Yellow, medium. Okay. Or sorry, yellow is soft. Right. White is medium. Red is hard. Okay. Green is intermediate for intermediate wet. A little bit of rain. Okay. And blues are full full on down Oh yeah. shit. But but they only picked two of the like so aside from the rain or wet weather tires, they have two compounds per weekend. And the compounds this weekend are either the mediums, the the white ones, those ones, and soft. or the yellow soft ones. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So they have to use one of each at least okay. during the race. And then the strategy, so I think you, and then you get uh, two sets of your, or three sets of your option and four sets of the, 
of the uh, are the front and back tires different sizes? A little bit, yeah, a little just, bit. just slightly. <laughs> this yeah. is one of the proposed changes for 2017. Is because if you look at from back in the 70s, the back tires were like 18 like, or 20 like inches much wide, much yeah. bigger. And yeah. a lot of people want to go back to that, especially with these torque engines. A lot of so downforce. What, what would and a that lot of allow you to do? Turn like a motherfucker. Oh, really? Like, just you get. It'll give you much, much more mechanical grip. What they call mechanical well, grip. Well, so the, the, the more the, rubber is on the road, the stickier it is. Okay, right? I see. Yeah. And so the, both the front and back tires would have to be much bigger. I think, Not necessarily the back, the front ones. Oh, I think. Oh, ma- really? Mostly they want to fatten up the back ones. But another thing they oh, propose well, though so too why, is. Wait, why is that? Because the, the front, the, the the back ones are the ones that are getting all the torque from the engine, okay. and those are the ones that are actually yeah. moving you forward. Right. The front tires are good for turning. Right. Yeah. yeah. So. So wait, how would the back tires influence you your turning, or how do no, they? No, no. You, you, or am I thinking you, about this wrong? No, no. The the, the, the back confused. tires move you forward. Right. No, I but, understand that. And the front tires do the turning. Right. But I thought you said having fatter tires while you're turning allows you to put more power down without. Without them letting go, because oh, because okay. there there's, there's, there's yeah there's a fatter tire good. there's more surface area that comes in contact with the road okay. so they're stickier gotcha. to the road yeah that's gotcha. totally, yeah so that's that's how it will okay I yeah. see that like, makes think sense of, think about if you had like a one inch strip of rubber and then yeah. try to try to slide it on the table it wouldn't be yeah. too hard and then if you had like a three inch strip of rubber and you put your hand on it yeah, yeah, it'd yeah. be like three times as hard to slide Crazy. it crazy. Right? That's what they want. But another thing they've talked about is going to 18-inch rims with basically low-profile tires. Okay. Right now, I think they're on 13-inch rims yeah. Yeah. with really thick-walled tires, right? Right. But they haven't had, I don't know, as many problems with delaminations and stuff anymore. They fixed that. But Pirelli, is the comp- Pirelli chooses every weekend what tires will be used for that race, depending on... They, pay, they try to do a strategy because... The softer tires will be anywhere from half a second to two or three seconds faster a lap, maybe two and a half seconds. Okay. So they try to create as more competition. The odd time they'll put a step between the tires. It's happened, but it's oh, so only not thirteen very often. people in the race. Right now, yes. Right now, yeah. <laughs> it's crazy. It's not a lot. Let's it's put it that way. It's not a lot. Like. In it just just what a was few the years ago. Sorry. What was the the height of the entrance? Oh, okay, well, I, about two, two years ago there were two or three years, twenty four teams, tire cars on the yeah. twelve teams. In, in, twenty four cars in the per race. in the current iteration, like in these in in modern Formula One, you're talking about those numbers, like twenty four, maybe twenty six, but but Jesus. no, like it, it's yeah. just, at right. the end of the season, la- the last three races last year were eighteen yeah. team. There were nine teams. Early though, early in the history of F one, there were like certain races like you'd have like thirty or forty cars on the on the road. Yeah, right. like back in the fifties and sixties. Way back, yeah. Uh oh, I don't think there's any limit. It's oh, just, uh, it's so expensive now. Look, but look at is that. Is there like passing etiquette? Like, is there a way that you ought to do that? Well, no, not necessarily. But you are, or maybe you, things you shouldn't do. Yeah, you shouldn't uh, like very blatantly drive or like like push the other driver all completely off the track. Okay, you shouldn't do that. Yeah, and, oh, that seems normal. And like, uh, and the way them the way they say that is that um, when you're doing like a blocking maneuver, there's a replay of it. You can see. Yeah. You're still so lo- supposed to leave like one car length. Between like you and 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 the, the end of the lane or whatever, and another thing that you're not supposed to do is like like just go like this and blocking like left and right. right. You're only like supposed to do oh really one of one offensive maneuver in like one direction really or one defensive, defensive. sorry defensive that's, a, maneuver. that's a, like a newer rule the past few years yeah like going down a straight like you can't press. just like kind of block them off and stop them from Be, right. yeah no not not you, all you asshole style I yeah. think basically since DRS has been in is when I think that uh, defense rule came in the cars were. Doing that, you're allowed one one defense, and that's it. One defense, one direction, like, one change of direction. One, one ch- but yeah, but it's if you like, if you that that just makes it like the smarter drivers will be able to use that because you can you can good. use your defense and then like make, wait argue, a bit. argue that you're getting back on the racing line and yeah. go back to the other side of the track. Yeah, which happens. You know what's funny? <laughs> uh, I don't know why it's funny. Deutschland, look who's in third place. Oh shit. Fucking um, Vettel, four-time world champion. Like I've, I've, I've gained like an appreciation for the F1 car. Like when yeah. I see it, I'm like, this thing looks like a fucking. 
beast. Like, <laughs> it looks so fucking rad. Yeah. Uh, the only thing I don't like about it is the back wing. The back wing is a bit too skinny. It looks a bit limp. Like, it just looks... <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. Just a little, like, it doesn't... The, the front of it makes it look like a horse. Like, that's yeah. running really fast, and the back makes it look like... <laughs> this is, like, it's... Awful. That new back wing though is part of the <clears throat> philosophy of the new the new formula. Oh this really? What they had again very few years ago was a very low and back wide back wing, right. which maybe a, one and a half times as wide and right down. But uh, they they did that. They narrowed it and raised it to lower the potential downforce you can get from it to oh, make really? it to make it harder to drive. Fuck. So again, like this if sport you, is if, fucked. If you go back, <laughs> if you go back on YouTube and look at like qualifying laps or fast laps from two thousand six, seven, eight, it's incredible. Like the amount of grip compared to this is incredible. Like, yeah. They're just going like, like, like <laughs> up to nineteen thousand RPM still at that time. Oh my god! And the downforce is is crazy. Yeah. It would, but it, again, people start to like, get it bored of that, and it was like too much. Like the cars are too easy to drive, so you see them sliding around a bit not, more now. I, I can see just why, a whole different I can see philosophy. Why changes in, in, I uh, agree that it looks weak though compared yeah. to before. No, yeah, it does. The low I, fat, I, I the low fat wing looks weak, but it makes the race more exciting and yeah. a little different. The times it. I've gotten used to it, I guess. I feel. Uh, okay, I feel like it's time to bring the present in. Nice. Okay. I, I, it was uh, actually perfect. Well, we just passed the halfway point. Twenty nine laps. Oh, perfect. The fifty percent. Okay, so I picked up something yesterday when I was at the mall. Okay. Um, and uh, it's it's sort of more like a token to the room. Oh no, your controller! Oh, oh, shit, your phone! Flip it over. It's Pull fine. The battery it's, out. It, no, it's fine. It's Nintendo. It's okay. not gonna break. It's fine. Okay. Ah, I really fucked that up. I was gonna have a whole intro, and then I spilt water everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe turn your phone off. Uh, my, phone, my phone's fine. It's Nokia. <laughs> <laughs> um. So you were at the mall. So I was at the mall. We're hanging at the mall. And I stopped in a toy store. Ah. And uh, like I like a lot of Catan and stuff like that. So I usually check it out every time I go. And I ended up buying. Nice. Oh, shit. Holy shit. (laughs) I know it's green. But uh, it is. That's awesome. Yeah. So I was I was thinking we could build it. Let's build it. Let's build it right now. So it's the yes. uh, Lego City. Um, nice. Does it have a name? Lego. Oh, so it's got a big fucking truck here though. Okay. Lego Race Squad. R- yeah, race, race, race squad. All right, let's. Um, <laughs> nice. Wicked. Yeah, you can't change your driver. <laughs> that's sweet it's like um it looks almost like the the, the ferrari one See, that they had i missed that okay so what happened to valtteri to interrupt the lego yeah. Val, something uh Brando oh, do just it, said do it, do it. valtteri bottas on the end of qualifying um he yeah i guess mike, mike didn't know about this yeah he <coughs> actually you'll see right right here on the last corner on the outside he went onto the grass there and then bumped over that curb or just uh, maybe a bit further ahead there and just kind of he just kind of bumped across the the grass and hurt his back. Yeah, somehow that so he, did enough damage to like yeah, he's, for him to be serious. Because you're like Sizzy. strapped into the car with almost no suspension. So he oh, went to the hospital. He went to the hospital and they said uh, he's not fit to race today. So he he didn't start the race. Something I missed. They weren't he, because he qualified. They can't. That's why Susie Wolf. Couldn't have drove even if right, yeah. there. Or right. whoever else is their, their backup driver. Yeah, would, they would have had to qualify as well. Right. right, right. Yeah. Too many things. But yeah, he, he missed out. And who knows if he's coming back even now. Coming back. Get it? Oh, shit. That looks awesome. I know. I'm really excited to make this fucking thing. <laughs> okay, what is this? Oh, we got stickers. Gotta put the of stickers course. on. Stickers yeah. are important. Stickers are very important in, race, in racing. Nice. There's a few different, few, few different bags here. Wow. Yeah, I know. When did <laughs> Lego get so fucking complicated? All right. Close Comes with being the biggest toy company company in the world, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> All right. You did Sweet. it. Sweet. <laughs> oh my god. There's so many steps. <laughs> oh, I, 
I've always been very fond of the uh, Lego city, like that whole like cityscape. Yeah, yeah. I think it's just my German in me. I think <laughs> German people just have a tendency for like things that are neat and organized, and <laughs> they do <laughs> city planning. City planning. Oh, I got the. Wait, is that an instruction? This is number. Uh, yeah, number two. Okay, so book two. I got the. So like one book per bag type of thing. It looks like it actually. Yeah. So I got the truck over here. I got, I got in coming into the pits. I got like the this flawless part of the pit stop. This like oh that part of the truck. Yeah. Okay, I got the back. I got the back end. I got the caboose. The trailer. Wait, then where's the where's the car? I don't know. Three. There's one. another bag. Okay, this is oh shit. That's probably that other book over there. Is there another one? Yeah. Oh shit! Totally. Uh oh, Danny, this one got wet. This one's yours, all right? <laughs> yeah. Perfect. Oh, you got the race car, though. You got the race car. Oh, wicked. Got yeah. the best one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah, it's pretty soggy, actually. <laughs> it's uh, it's quite soggy. Uh, what numbers do you need? I, I got two. You got two. two. Yeah. Okay, so there's a fourth one here. I'm not sure how that works. We'll figure it out. Button back. Ferrari, so competitive. And it, it is actually like I'd say one of the biggest stories of the weekend is how just how good Ferrari was of the year so far. Holy shit! Yeah, yeah. Com the, their comeback. Just, yeah, compared to how like how sh let's be honest, shit they were last year. Oh yeah. Oh dear. Uh oh. Uh oh. Smoke. There's fire. Right? Is that the, <laughs> is that the rule? Oh, but has got a little bit of, uh, actually quite a bit of smoke coming out. Coming out of his tailpipe. That. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Look at this. Yeah, he's stopping. He's pulling off the track. Uh -oh. right lap, lap 34, Max Verstappen is out of the race. Oh, is that what that means? Colin. Oh, is there's he... his dad. His dad just walked into the back. I was just like, <laughs> fuck. Yeah. yeah. My this son is... is a disappointment. <laughs> <laughs> That's basically how he is, apparently. This is the guy who's... Uh, <laughs> oh, really? This is the dude who's 17. That guy's 17. Yeah. And he's racing the F1. The, the youngest driver in this, F1 history, period. This is the guy that we had talked about. They had to change the super license rules to be a minimum 18. You have to be an adult now. Yeah. Because nobody ever expected an 18-year-old would be driving in Formula 1. I mean, a 17-year-old. 17 year old. Yeah. I have an extra bag. Oh, this is all fucking wet still. We'll, we'll get to it. Well, like his car, okay, so his engine just blew up. So his, his dad was in the news today talking mad shit about Renault. That their, oh my God. their car is crap or whatever. Their in that article, there was a story like his dad is such a hard ass that when this guy was still in go kart racing and he was a kid, I guess he crashed one time. And his dad refused to talk to him for a whole week. And his dad was like, yeah, I, want, I just needed to teach him a lesson that it should hurt if you crash. <laughs> yeah. Your son could have died. <laughs> his, his father, Jasper Stappen, was a Formula One racer back in the day. Oh, really? He used to compete. Did he ever crash? Father-son team, I'm sure. Yeah, yeah. And did his did. father yell at him? I don't know Probably a lot about not. his father's history, but I'm sure he crashed. Jos Verstappen was just kind of an okay driver. He wasn't like, he wasn't he... awesome. He wasn't bad either. He was just like a midfielder. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. But his son has like is showing a lot of fucking promise. It's if true. I do say so, myself. Myself. <laughs> Oh, wait. Oh, I see. This is the fourth one. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, Christian Horner uh, on the pit wall radio. Calling hoping, for a safety car. Hoping for a safety car to bunch the cars up. Jeez. Oh, Lego! Oh, shit. I almost threw this whole thing out. Uh, dude, I've missed Lego. <laughs> I haven't done Lego in forever, man. One of my cousins is super into Lego. Nice. He has like a million Legos. <laughs> He's got all of them. I used to have a big bucket when I was a kid, but probably got sold in a garage sale a long time ago. I wish I still had it, though. I know, right? 
Yeah, I had like those buckets when I was a kid, and you just bucket a Lego. I got uh, my brother's kid like a about a year. I don't know. I I don't think my brother was too happy about it. I got his kid <laughs> like I forget how many hundreds, but hundreds of Mega Bloks. Like <laughs> maybe not hundreds, but it was a a lot. Like, like a couple, of bu- and then I wasn't the only one who got a Mega Bloks. <laughs> He's got like, buckets full. Those are just calling to be stepped on in the middle of the night. I know, right? Yeah. <laughs> we uh, when I was a kid, we had uh, those. Uh, it was like, like a Lego vacuum, but it wasn't a vacuum. It was more of like, like a, a lawnmower sort of contraption where like you <laughs> you'd run it across the floor and it would just like pick all the Lego up and like <laughs> put it into like a little bucket behind it. What? Oh what? Yeah, it was. I never seen it that. Was, it was awesome. That's cool. And Check it just, out this this guy has a beard. Oh, perfect. Nice. <laughs> That's our, our racer here. That's one of the the crew. The crewman has a beard. Oh, yeah. Two Wait, crewmen oh, and a, and oh, a race car it. driver. Lap 37, the battle for 10th place is looking pretty good, actually. Science, Ch- Chili Science with his underpowered... Um, Renault battling Perez with a, with a Mercedes that's but it's essentially a, a spec car. The sad story here is that look at how close they are, and I think that throughout the year, just because the Force India has um, a Mercedes engine, it's just gonna keep going up and up and up, and unfortunately. The the Toro Rosso is probably keep gonna gonna keep going down and down in performance, because Renault seems Renault, Renault seems like they're just not gonna they're they're it's gonna take him a long time to catch up. You know what? I was reading some news this morning. Uh, should we should let everyone know we're recording this after the race? Yeah. But uh, Renault confirmed, I believe, this morning. It's Monday. That they are in fact Tuesday. looking. Sorry, it, oh, it's, oh my God, it's Tuesday. I actually, <laughs> thought, I actually thought it was Monday. It's St. Patrick's Day, actually. It is St. Oh Day. yeah. Uh, yeah, for unemployment. Yeah, Renault confirmed this morning. I think that they are in fact looking to purchase a team. Oh yeah. Yeah. So the news is out. Because because the news is out. I guess since the beginning of qualifying this weekend, or since the start of the weekend, and because of what you just saw there, Verstappen's car just blew up, Ricardo's down one engine. Yeah. Red Bull's just been talking shit about Renault. What is with that? I saw that some of that on Reddit. Oh, yeah? The, yeah, that they just don't like each other? Like Their engine's not performing. They're, like, do they just, do like, Companies just talk shit against each other all the time. Well, so you guys are a bunch of twats or whatever. Uh, but the thing, I, yeah, I, I find that completely wrong. And all, but it has to do with the fact that Red Bull, when like they, they've been with Renault for a while, right? But back in the before the the engines got all changed around, um, Red Bull was winning basically everything. They won four years in a row. Holy shit! Yeah, both Every- the constructors and the the the, the, the drivers' championship, and then with all the, of a sudden with the Renault engine with the Renault engine, and then everybody was happy. You know, there was like a you know everybody everything was, was great. Yeah, and then all of a sudden now now because Renault is now making a competitive engine, Red Bull is starting to talk shit. Christian Horner is starting to sound like an idiot. I used to actually look up to him, um, as as, as a guy that was a true racer, but now he just sounds like an idiot when he talks. I don't know. Yeah. I haven't made up my mind yet. In a way, in a in ways, he's right. But I think what I predicted is happening because we heard What's yesterday. That? We haven't talked about this yet, but the amount of tokens that have been used by the teams, or the amount of tokens remaining by Renault, Ferrari, and Mercedes are. Do you remember this? Oh uh, yeah, uh, twelve. Ferrari has seven. Right. Yes. Um, Mercedes has ten. Right. Or. Yes, or, or nine. Ten or nine? Ten or twelve. I think I believe ten because Honda has nine and Renault has twelve, which was right. which people had predicted in the news. And I think Renault kind of hinted at it that they might save a bunch of their tokens. In this case, they <laughs> saved like a third of them mm-hmm. all the way until the end of the year. Because next year they get 25 more tokens to the right. engine. They might just throw away this year, drive this shitty engine all the way till the end. And then right at the end, spend those 12 tokens and then immediately spend 25 more when everybody else has used them up and only has 25. 
Gotcha. And they can compound their development. And at the same time, purchasing their own team gives them a, a boost to make themselves not look super bad when they <laughs> when they begin. They're losing money, man, because yeah, they, yeah. They, they, they have to be. After being so good, I mean, and the the whole like um, F1 project for Renault was working so good for them. Um, and now this, like, <laughs> even somebody on Reddit posted an ad um, that had like a picture of the of of, um, of a Red Bull car um, that Red Bull posted on, on I think it was on Facebook yeah. to promote like their new Clio or something. Okay. Uh, so yeah. like it's, it's just like a, a hatchback, and the it was basically saying something like, "Oh, you know, we use it, the technology for F one." Oh make yeah, it. I saw that. <laughs> and the top co like the comments were like, "Oh, so it's unreliable and slow." <laughs> it's like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Nobody in us in uh, Melbourne is gonna be buying one. That's for sure. How you guys doing over there? I'm doing pretty good. I'm yeah. having, having lots of fun with this Lego. I know, me too. Yeah. I've only got, you know, this. I got something. Oh, that looks like, you know, it looks like it's, you know, it'll be something. It looks like a thing. <laughs> this is fantastic, man. Thanks for getting this. Hey, no <laughs> yeah, problem, man. man. For sure, this is cool. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. There you go. There's the numbers for this race. The softer tire is worth about one and a half seconds per lap. So when you're on the softer tire, but oh, they really? wear, but they oh, wear wow. on this track. Yeah. So that's right. part of the strategy. They wear out a lot faster, but at the same time, they're that much faster, right? Right. Wow. A whole second. One and a half. One and a half. One and a half on average. Yeah. So your medium tires last longer, but you want to be on them for as short a time as possible compared to the other ones. That battle is still going on with uh, um, this these Sa these new Saubers. I'm glad that they're back. Yeah, uh, for sure. Yeah. There's uh, oh no! Look at that, Raikkonen. Raikkonen pulling off the track at uh, turn three and four here, right on the inside of turn three. And he turned the car He's off. Out, yeah. I was looking down there, but I think he had some trouble on that pit stop again. That is Kimi Raikkonen out of the race. If you turn off your car, are you? That's it. Yeah. Well, you can. His, I think his, his, I think they don't actually have like. The, yeah. Like. The, yeah. yeah. You're, you're out. There, there, yeah. There is no starter on the car. Yeah. They start the. They basically like put a drill with a a pole in the truck. Yeah. And just kind of. And that's how the car there's, starts. There's like yeah. a hole in the back that yeah, just it turns the crankshaft and the they they press it. <laughs> that's they, all these They start feeding gas and that's it starts. Fuck. Because starter motors weigh weigh, weigh a lot of, mo of weight. Right. Plus yeah. you need a battery to turn that. Oh wow. You just like fuck it. I don't need that shit. Well, I mean, you don't need that during the race, right? Yeah. 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 You're not supposed to. Sometimes they stall once in a while. There you go. He just got on a scooter back to the pits. And he wasn't looking bad. I mean, his he did lose some time after, like with this ridiculous pit stop. He did lose some time crashing in the first corner too, which <laughs> it wasn't his fault though. Absolutely not his fault. Oh, the tire wasn't on properly. Yeah. Oh no. That cost him some time and uh, since then like some is is someone getting fired there? <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, like uh, it's, could? yeah, yeah. They're like you're done. If it was legitimately their fault and not like some 
other problem than yeah. Uh, I'm think uh, there's a piece missing on this car. No. Could be over here. You check the bag. You check the bag. It's one of the. Oh no, it's not that. I checked all. I, yeah, I've, everything's on this piece of paper. Oh man, there's one square missing. <laughs> I'll see if I can work around it. Oh, or let me. Uh, no, you don't have it. It's it's a one by two, but it should be black. No, I don't got it. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, uh, this is the. Uh, this is what happens. Oh, this is bullshit. It's got to be around there somewhere. Yeah. I believe it. Oh, wait. I got one of these, but I think these are just my back wheels. Okay, I might be okay here. I'm going to substitute. And there's going to be a gap hidden <laughs> a few pages down. It's, it's missing for sure, man. I, I was very careful. Nothing, nothing, for sure nothing fell. It's all on this piece of paper. Lame. Bastard Lego. Ruining my dreams. <laughs> so that, um, they just freak up. Um, Raikkonen, when he did that horrible stop, that horrible pit stop, uh, what happened is that he, he didn't get released properly. Oh. Because, because the wheel was loose. So if you do that, you get some sort of penalty. So he has a penalty coming to him. This is a new penalty this year Un because there were a few unsafe releases. La last year, that guy got hit by the tire, right? Yeah. No. Oh, that was two years two ago. Two years ago. So two years ago, a tire flew off a car, bounced bounced down the, the pit, and I think it hit a camera guy. Yeah. It was, it was An FLM oh, camera no. guy. Somebody that was just standing around. And... Uh, yeah, so it's a lot stricter now. It's basically if your team fucks up, the driver is punished. Like the whole car is punished. Basically, you get a minimum ten second stop and go penalty for unsafe release, and then whatever the stewards deem additionally. And it looks like because uh, do you guys have the stickers? I do. Oh, I got one page anyway. It looks like since Kimmy didn't finish this race and take his penalty, he's gonna get. An equivalent um, place bump for next week for Malaysia. Oh, shite. It's going to lose spots in the start. I've always had a hard time with stickers. <laughs> <laughs> I, I just wasn't good at them when I was a kid. Stickers. Those tricky buggers. Fuck. Shit. Whatever. It's all good, man. All good. Did you just say a button update? <laughs> Ted Kravitz is about to do a button update. Yeah, this that's great. Just keep on doing what you're doing. <laughs> Lap 45. That's the radio message. There's a lot of that, man, coming throughout the year. Yep, keep up. Shit. Oh, yeah, see? Somebody's getting in trouble. Again, <laughs> twice in one race, they had trouble with Kimi Raikkonen's back left tire. I don't know, but it's got to be something to do with that bump at the start of the race. Yeah, I think that'd so, be too. so upsetting. Smash his wheel hub. Oh, yeah, as he's a racer. Pissed. He doesn't want to talk to anybody. Talk to nobody. Plus, he's the ice man. Yeah, that's true. He doesn't want to talk to nobody all the time. <laughs> <laughs> 
This has no feelings either way. <laughs> That's what he's known for. Fuck. Fuck these things up. Damn it. No, you guys can't even see it. The camera's too far away. I just kind of fucked them up. They're all right, man. What happened? I just put the stickers on all fucking wonky. Uh, it's not awful. It's just not great. Uh, <laughs> For those who like that sort of thing. <laughs> shit. <laughs> it was a weird weekend for that. So far, yeah. It's not over yet. Who knows how many cars will finish? Yeah. Craziness. You know what's funny? Yeah. I haven't heard much of Lewis Hamilton on this broadcast. <laughs> He's just yeah, off of the front. Yeah, they still, they still look at care. this. Up to 11th it's place. Nice. Up to 11th place. Every car. Yeah. Lewis Hamilton's passed them all. Do you oh, they're really? All, they're, all, they're not just... So many seconds behind. They're one lap behind. Oh, more my than, God. Yeah. Yeah, they're being lapped. Yeah, so is it because he's got, like, such a good car or is he's a great it's driver? A, he is a it's good a driver, car. but he's also got the best machine. See, oh, really? Up till Felipe and Nasser there, all those guys have lapped everybody else. Really? The Williams, Nasser. We see Nasser is 68 seconds behind, 69 now. Oh, my God. Yes, yeah, so over a minute behind. Yeah, and as soon as you get up to uh, Nico Hulkenberg, number seven, yeah, all lap, one lap, like so. That's yeah, that's pretty ridiculous. Wow. Ric he's, Ricciardo, just, he's just got ridiculous pace. Ricciardo is in sixth. He's about to be lapped yeah. by everybody because the lap here is like well, not by go, everybody. By go, Nico Rosberg just pulled the fastest lap, one thirty-one. Lap forty-eight, and Ricciardo's seventy-two seconds back, so he's pretty pretty close to getting lapped. <laughs> and a few more. What, what still ten times? laps to go. Still ten more laps to go. So you got like 15 percent of the race left. What? Uh, what were your laps? What was your best lap uh, in F one? I don't know, like a one twenty eight or nine on Albert Park. Oh shit! Yeah, one twenty eight, one twenty nine. That's awesome. <laughs> That's not incredible. Well, they were fastest lap. And it's here not. Was it's not like. Right? And, and I couldn't do fifty eight in a row. Oh okay. I do like, <laughs> it's like, like I said, I can do like one out of five, if nobody <laughs> if nobody's looking type like like. <laughs> but you gotta concentrate is what I mean. Yeah, I don't know. But like I said, I play I play the video game casually where it's their career. <laughs> <laughs> it's all they've been done. <laughs> These guys. <laughs> These announcers. Yeah. <laughs> Suggesting he might have a few beers. <laughs> uh. Oh. That's a pretty uh, interesting thing to say. Yeah. You got to be faster so we can be faster. <laughs> <laughs> See the strange wording with their new rules, right? Yeah.
<laughs> I think so. Not to just talking about Kimmy getting a place penalty in Malaysia. Oh, really? Definitely. Because of his unsafe release. Unsafe release. Ah. He was unable to take his penalty uh, this this race. Yo, toss, toss his stickers. Oh. Yeah, I'm going to need those stickers too in a minute. Yeah, I'm getting close. Second. I'm almost done. Mm. Uh oh. I'm making the truck. Nice. I don't think maybe that piece wasn't missing, but they gave me a gray one instead of a black one. Oh. And then there's a bunch of extras here. I got three extra pieces. I got an extra visor. Oh. Race visor. Yeah, you, you gotta save that for sure. Yeah, no, it's a you save that shit. Stickers. So we stopped talking. <laughs> it's kind of, I guess if anyone's watching along, the race is kind of uh, winding down right now. I'm going to... Uh, uh, it's just been a lapping fest here. I'm going to be cutting it up. Okay. Oh, yeah. 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 So I was thinking doing like cut up and then I'll do like, I'll put in the top right corner like what lap it is. And then like what we say about it. Yeah. Yeah. Makes sense. Makes sense. Yeah. That's what I figured was gonna happen anyway. I mean, what well, once this? I know. I that I almost regret bringing it on because then we stop talking. Oh, uh, uh, I mean, it, it's is it is that the tradition of sort of like an F one race where like in the beginning it's a little more exciting and then it kind of like teeters off. This no. race in particular, because of the lack of cars and and whatever else, um, was notoriously. I guess uneventful. Even though it wasn't, I I, I wouldn't right. say it's it's not an event. There are parts of it that were a, quite eventful. Just a different type of event for just the cars not finishing. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's, it's different. I don't know. It's something I haven't really seen before. This few cars, this yeah. many, it's crazy. Well, it, it it does start to get like a little bit. Well, once we get closer to the, the very end, the last four laps. Um, yeah, but for now. <laughs> but for now, Lego. <laughs> yes. Oh, fuck. I think so. Is 
See, it almost seems hard to believe that the two Mercedes are racing each other. So Rosberg is one and a half seconds behind Lewis. More than that. 1.6, 1. 1.8 1. 1. now. Just jumped to 1.8. Lap 53. I don't know. Mercedes insisted that they will be racing all season again, but I don't know. Doesn't look good. Doesn't seem like it this weekend anyways. But it might be they're f still feeling it out and I don't know. Just feeling out the car, finding the limits. Don't want to risk an accident. They, they've got the two wins. They might have told them just to slow down. We got this race. For a moment, I thought you were talking about the Lego car. <laughs> <laughs> think I'm done. Are you done? Brum, brum, brum. Mine's the smallest piece, but uh -oh. check it out. Let's see. Nice. Oh, sick. That is awesome. Closer to the camera. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Check it out. We got the, the lollipop man. <laughs> the lollipop. lollipop man. The stop sign. Get this here. The team radio guy. Check it out. Look, look at this. There's the drawers. What? Full of tools. For tools? <laughs> what? It's got tools. You got That's a great. wrench, a screwdriver, a hammer, a radio, uh, a socket wrench. There's some tire irons over here. A separate wrench. Yeah, we got a... A ratchet, a drill. There's a, there's a tire drill here. <laughs> tire iron. You got an extra tire too for the pits. Nice. A spare wheel. Crazy. Oh, you got the truck going. Wicked. I think these are your stickers. Are you sawing Lego? Those are the tires. Oh, I was like, he's got the what? wets on there, a little grooved. Boom. Okay, all right. Four laps to go. <clears throat> Four laps to go. Oh, shit. Oh, this is nuts. This thing is going to be ridiculous. Nice. Oh, fuck. You guys don't even know. So Marcus Erickson going like hot on the trail of uh, Chili Signs. Sorry. I was rudely texting for a second there. Here we go down to the final three laps. Right now. Can we Erickson do this. Erickson is now fighting Chili Signs for eighth place. He's a... Uh, 0.57 seconds behind here. <clears throat> At this point, we know his drive is safe because because uh, Vandergaard uh, is choosing to settle. He's uh, he's not he's not gonna pursue this right. silly lawsuit anymore. Uh, so his drive is safe, but it seems he's... like he's settled now for 15 million euro. Yeah, who knows where he'll take that? There's a rumor he may still take that to Manor because uh, uh, buddy, uh, what what the hell's his name? Hamalonso. <laughs> uh, Mary, my cat, Roberto, Mary, yeah, Roberto, <laughs> <Your> cat, <laughs> the the dude with my cat's hair. Uh, there's a rumor, I guess, that he <gasps> actually, I don't know, maybe it's not even a rumor that he only had a one race contract for this weekend, and they didn't get the car out of the garage. So there's a there's a chance that uh, Vandergaard might take his 50 million euro right down to the end of the paddock, join them. But last night, Bernie Ecclestone, or I think probably Sunday afternoon, Bernie Ecclestone did an interview with Reuters, and I believe he made a, <laughs> he made it clear that he he believes that uh, Manor had zero intention of getting on the track this weekend. That's what he isn't. Didn't he get pissed at them because of that? Yeah, like he's. Well, they made up their 
things about well who knows if they really made it up but they had, didn't have uh, enough tire i mean the software they had this year's software trying to run last year's motor i don't know oh shit we just missed it erickson did it he did it he pulled eighth from from science here we oh, go here's a replay yeah. here's a replay Beautiful. Oh, these Fer these Ferrari engines. There's just what a it's a night and day I situation. Like two, two rookies fighting it out too. Yeah. Well, Ericsson's no longer a rookie, but uh, I guess not. Young guys. Yeah. He did it. Eighth place. Beautiful. Everybody, it's a, it's a thrill to see uh, Sauber back up there. Everybody wants to see Sauber win. Or you know, or do better than last year. You uh, you guys got those stickles. I think everybody wants to see everybody do better this year, so we can get some competition. Yeah. <laughs> well, like you pointed out, Mike, they haven't mentioned basically Hamilton or Rosberg wants the race, except when they traded purple laps between each other back and forth. Yeah. That's yeah. Right. Pretty much it. <clears throat> yeah. They're just doing so good that there's there's no point in talking to them. It's like, well, what are they gonna talk about? I haven't seen a purple lap pop up in a bit, but I did pick Rosberg. On Badger as my team prediction. <laughs> oh, really? I took Lewis <laughs> for, Hamilton. For quickest lap? Probably. I should check. Yeah. I don't know. I, I'm going to check. As soon as, sure as, soon as this is guessed. done, I'm going to check out my uh, my scores. My fantasy F1 scores. Yeah, for, guys, for play, my, with, play with us. If you, if you haven't, if you're listening. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, no, I guess they can't now because it's already, the season started. I think you can still join. Well, yeah, you can you, still join. You're just behind now. Badger has exploded. There's more than twice as many people registered than when we than we did. What? Yeah, they're almost at seven thousand now, or maybe more. Jesus, that's pretty good. Yeah, they can thank us for about half of those. I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And here comes the man around the last corner, about to start the last lap of the race. Lap 57 out of 58. And who's in front? And Lewis Hamilton. Final lap. But he's not that, look at that. He's not that far away from, uh, I mean, Rosberg is not that far away from him. He's almost two seconds. Though. Yeah. It's not easy to get two seconds back just like that. It's way outside the DRS. Yeah, he is. But it may be a matter of, uh, of of what you said that maybe the team was like, okay, you know what, chill, guys, we got this, we got this one too, no well, need to be stupid. There were rumors right after the or at, from the end of the weekend that they were sandbagging. Now that the race is over, that they sandbagged this race. Oh yeah, like that they got out front and slowed down. But I don't know. There was talk about when Red Bull was dominant that they. They kind of did the same thing, they, but they did it a little more to give the illusion of competition. And then right. in, in Q3 or whatever, they, at the end of the race, they'd all of a sudden find an extra half a second or three quarters <laughs> of a second out of nowhere. And Vettel would <laughs> do his, his single lap and smash everybody. Jesus That's, uh, Christ. Mercedes is more uh, going the rub it in everyone's face. <laughs> Rub it in everyone's face type of uh, strategy. <laughs> strategy. Well, they were tired. Oh, look, he's coming up for a double, I think a double lap there, maybe. There's first place chasing one side. He there we go. Checkered flag, Lewis Hamilton. Lewis Hamilton, Rosberg to Vettel in a Ferrari. I love it. Wow. Unexpected. This is, this was exciting. Yeah. I really enjoyed this. You nice. see that though? Erickson almost got double lapped, I think, right at the end. Hamilton <laughs> was closer to the back oh, of Erickson than Rosberg was that to guy. the back. Nicky Lauda. That's, um, that's Nicky Lauda. Nicky Lauda. The rush guy. The rush <laughs> the guy. The rush guy. <laughs> I think it is the start of a reborn prancing horse red car. It is. <laughs> Beautiful. My man's but, back. But yes. That's hell. I mean, I... Deutsch and Deutsch, Lance. I, yeah. I don't like Vettel, but I like Ferrari. So I'm kind of torn. <laughs> so I'll, 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 stay, I'll stay a Ferrari fan, not necessarily a Vettel fan. <laughs> <laughs> but but it's great to see them up up there. 
I never hated Ferrari, but I, I never really cheered for them till now. <laughs> I'm cheering for the dude more than his car. I just hear, you hear all the applause popping. in the in the background of the Hamilton's you team radio. You fucking did it! <laughs> you did it, bud. Uh, you did it, bud. Everyone goes home and gets drunk. Except the people that have to stay back and pack everything. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. except those people. But fuck them. <clears throat> Jesus, this car, truck. Yeah, <laughs> that's that a like, German trying to speak Italian uh, very badly. Whatever he did, he's trying. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I said earlier. Why not become trilingual? Yeah. Needs the Tifosi on his side. He definitely does. Well, part, some, part of being Italian. like in Ferrari is like the whole show, the whole Italy thing. Yeah, but you don't hear uh, Lewis dropping any German phrases. Oh no, no, nor would that ever happen. <laughs> 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 oh yeah, beautiful palm trees. Two German drivers in the top three. Yeah. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah, that's it. Three in the top ten, except one of them got lapped. Look at Ricardo, man. Oh my god, at home lapped. Sixth place got lapped. That's Fucking crazy! And look at all. But I, uh, let, I, in terms of, uh, I, I don't know what the number, what, uh, what the percentage is, but in terms of rookies, like first year Formula One drivers that are on the grid, as a percentage of the total cars that completed the race, yeah, this was quite large. Yeah, there's quite a bit of them, and they and and it's not that they were like swerving all over the place, like driving all crazy or anything. They were like. They were pretty good. I think. I think that's a, that's another like feel good story of this weekend is is how good the um, um, the, the rookie guys were. Yeah, here's a feel bad story because I, I noticed. I guess we could say now we you and I have seen this race already. Yeah, I think, I think we did a good job not spoiling anything. <laughs> but next time we'll do this on the. No, first. I was uh, always surprised. We'll try to do this on the first watch next time, so it's a yeah. little more exciting. But yeah, wait, this, wait, we talked the next about one's this. Three a.m. though. Yeah. Whatever. What are you a pussy? Yeah, whatever. <laughs> you, you, gotta, you gotta sleep or something? What are you a pussy? <laughs> you, gotta, you gotta go to bed? Did, but, did I wake you up with that text this morning? Oh no, you, you no. texted me. Yeah, I, woke, but I just had I just got up. I was like, oh shit, I better get to Mike's house. <laughs> so I said, what time are we doing this? But uh, this is a feel bad story. Look at this. See this, Mike? This is your first post race, but this is my first indoor park like normally they do this outside so everyone you, can you, see you see over there where everybody is so you know yeah, they would have stopped the cars there before i don't know why they're doing this i hope that they don't keep not, doing this for the rest of the year even in the rain yeah the, they're supposed to be working on things that will bring in the drivers closer to the crowd but i've never seen that where they park them inside normally they'd be right here one two three and everyone can see the cars jeez but i don't know hopefully enough people complain or Bernie is listening to me right now. Bernie. Yeah, Bernie. Fucking park these cars outside, man. Everyone wants to see them. It's not even raining. Even in the rain, they park them outside. Come on. Yeah, look at, and look at this. They got a steel fence indoors there. Fettel. 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 The handshake. My two guys. Germany and England. Look a little sweaty. See, Mike, these guys go straight on the scale. Oh my wearing God. all your clothes yet. The vehicle and driver must equal 702 kilos minimum. W with all their gear, obviously. With all yeah. their helmets and shit. Coveralls, helmet, boots, whatever. Gloves. What? Drag race. 18 wheeler versus 18,000 RPM. This is so much fun, actually. Like, just like, because 
um, after the race is over, you can like jump through the camera holes. Yeah. In into the track. Oh, cool. Yeah. <laughs> we did that last year. We didn't really get like. Yeah, we didn't we, get this. We, 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 we were all the way down that back straight in Canada. You've seen the track now. Yeah. You know, it's super long straight. Yeah. We were, yeah. we were sitting at the <clears throat> hairpin. Yeah. So. <clears throat> Yeah, plus we were we were pretty drunk at the end of it, but we, we <laughs> ran all the way down that straight to the pit lane. <laughs> Guys, I'm still building this. Yeah, your piece, yours is big, man. What the fuck? It's a big trailer. Look at the, look at this, Mike. Look at this crowd. Holy shit! They were expecting three hundred fifteen thousand attendants in person there. It was actually one of one of the most attended races of the year. Really? It's Australia, yeah. Because they, they... It's right downtown. Uh, it's a big city. Yeah. And it's also like there's a lot of uh, stuff going on around the track too. Like there's a... They, they match it with this like... um, It's like a, like a like a festival, like a music festival. Okay. It's going on. Like whenever there's no action on the track, like there's like bands playing everywhere and stuff. That's yeah. what I was saying about Montreal. I was, yeah. I was actually surprised the first time that we went that there wasn't that... Even local bands or just whatever. Some yeah. some jazz music or anything. Anything. Just because the well, moment show is never because like, like cause, ACDC. Because there's like there's stuff going on like in the city though around the city. That's yeah, there yeah. is. And they have Oshiega. That's true. Oshiega. But I think Melbourne, Melbourne is I think a lot like Toronto too, where they have events every weekend in the city type of thing. Like here, mm -hmm. they had Arnold Schwarzenegger's hanging out because he has a international bodybuilding competition in Melbourne. Here they come to the podium. And the man, Lewis, 34 wins in his career. Holy yeah. shit. Beautiful. He's he's really like creeping up there to uh, Vettel's record. Yeah. Just turned 30 years old. Still got a lot of driving to go. Fixing the Mohawk. <laughs> Wave to the crowd. Oh, shit. The playing of the national anthems. So they play the national anthem of the driver and then the national anthem of the team or the country who's that the team is racing for. Oh. <clears throat> Fuck. <laughs> well, you got something. You messed something up with the, with the, with the Legos. Fucked up the Lego. Jeez. Look at that! Look at that crowd now! Oh my god! Jeez. What anthem was that? Uh, German. German. Deutschland. Germans. Yeah. Play so the, is the British uh, uh, the British um, anthem for Lewis. Yeah, they play the the the, dri the winning drivers anthem and the winning teams anthem. It's Mercedes is or the German. The, the countries who's the, who they race for, I guess. Yeah. Is yeah. that the is that the trophy? That's the first that's day the trophy place. Here, yeah. Yeah. For <laughs> that race. For that race. <laughs> that's why I said that's why they had this race so late in the afternoon so that. They're not reflecting too much sun off of that thing. <laughs> <laughs> Especially with all those dry leaves around. You can start a forest fire. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, every, every country, every race design and make their own trophies. Oh, really? Some of them, some of them can be similar because a lot of them, um, I mean, sometimes like they, um, they are designed by the sponsor of the, of the race. Like that's true. In, in Europe, like you see a lot of like similar trophies because a lot of the races are sponsored by Santander. It's a, it's a bank. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, he's happy again. 
A truck. I'm Baby stress. Oh my god. I'm the finished. truck is done. Yo, check this shit out. Is that where the toolbox goes? Oh shit. That's where the fucking car goes. Nice. Let's drive it in there. Is there a ramp? Is there a Ooh. Nice. Oh. Shit just got real. Yeah. Well, let's put this plop, together. Plop it, plop it in there. It has a specific See it, hole the for spring it. of the champagne. <laughs> Hamilton just sprayed the champagne into the window of uh, uh, looks like somebody's private box. <laughs> <laughs> box. L- the auto. Fuck yeah. It's gonna go on top. Nice. I was I was thinking about putting it up there actually. I wanna move some of those guys around. Nice. Now after this, they do like a podium interview. That's something they only on they only started doing recently. Yeah. This Which year's also great. this year's podium well, let's, uh, let's, interview. Let's, let's let him cup. Let's let, yeah, him. It, it's gonna be it's a good one. It's it's it's, it's a good one. It's usually one of the Sky or BBC or. Or like a local racer or something. Commentators, yeah. It's somebody historic. Yeah. That's it. Probably half of them are one of the commentators, though. Yeah. BBC or Sky, for the most part. Come the microphone girls. All right, let, let, listen to this. This, I, this interview is actually pretty good. Yeah. Did you already see it? Oh, yeah. no. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Look at this. Oh, it's Arnold. Congratulations! <laughs> Look at that ring on his finger. <laughs> Jesus. Both of his hands. The f- fat skull, a ring finger. The Arnold's classic. Listen to this. Lewis just told Arnold he thought that he was taller in real life. <laughs> Is it weird I didn't know he was British? Who oh, Lewis? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's British. Yeah. I was I was thinking he had more of a like a lower voice. I don't know why. <laughs> oh. Wait, uh, isn't he a rapper now? Yeah. Yeah. Well, he, yeah, he, he's trying to be. All these guys are pretty small, actually. Though. Like, Nico, a bit more of a gracious loser this year. Today, anyways. Getting second. Says he's happy about it. That crowd, I keep saying, is incredible. No. Tobacco. Hmm? Tobacco. <clears throat> Nico, just talking about how Do you this stuff? it's as much mental as physical throughout a season to keep uh, keep your stamina, keep your concentration. He knows all about the breathing. It's funny, Nico, uh, Rosberg here and Hamilton talking about how, how fit they are standing beside Arnold Schwarzenegger. <laughs> <laughs> he's twice as much muscle and he's over 60. <laughs> we have enough room. Vettel getting a few boos again. Why? Right, people don't couple like cheers again. No, he used to get booed when he was winning so much. Why? Because he's winning too much. 
Lewis got a bit of boo when he got up there too. Arnold's like, what the fuck is he saying? Uh, Vettel showing off his Italian skills again. Very, very poor Italian skills, but he's trying, I guess. I guess we'll give him that. Rosberg's probably laughing. He's <laughs> fluent in five or six languages. <laughs> actually, Rosberg is incredible, actually. He's got all the accents and everything down pretty good. Yeah. Quite well. <laughs> he works in Italy now and he's talking about sparing pizza. Danke. Danke. Danke schön. Danke. Danke an. Look, look. <laughs> yeah, Arnold, Arnold, Arnold and Lewis did a simultaneous I'll be back <laughs> and we'll be back in two weeks at Malaysia uh, yeah we're gonna, we're, gonna do, we're gonna do one of these um, for every race and uh, it's gonna be fun check us out flatoutfever.com subscribe on iTunes if you want, if you're into, if that's if that's the sort of thing that you think you might be into, <laughs> if you need some MP3 <laughs> downloads instead of YouTube, yeah, they're they're on the site, uh, the MP3s, and I guess Flat we're out. gonna we're gonna put this on the on on the site, and then uh, now on on to the actual episode. Ah, yeah, flat out fever on Twitter, Reddit, Skype, email, dot com. <laughs> <laughs>